My cigar shipment, uh, shipment still hasn't arrived. So I'm trying to make deal with my tobacco pipes. But uh, here we are on part two of Steel Rain, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you enjoyed the last broadcast. We are getting ready to go into Vault 96, I believe is what it was. That's where Paladin Romani had sent us just before. I had to log off and I'm really excited about this. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't looked at any of the screenshots. I haven't looked at any of the spoilers. I am going in with fresh eyes. I can't wait to see what this vault is all about. Uh, thank you for joining me last night for Scotch and Smoke Rings episode 615. We completed Amnesia Rebirth. What an awesome time that was. Really enjoyed that game. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to find a new game to replace my Thursday night Scotch and Smoke Rings game. Uh, so yeah, I'll be taking your suggestions on Twitter. Let me know what you think I should play. That sort of uh, Thursday night scotch and smoke rings game. That's sort of like a, a horror, slower, slower paced, contemplative game. Um, well, good to see everybody on uh, Facebook today. Jason Lewis, Donald Reed, BT, uh, BT Fuber Grimm. Wonderful to have you guys keep on coming back. And let's see if we're live on YouTube. We are. And we've got the regular cast of characters and subscribers and members and Patreon subscribers on YouTube today. Darth Knight, Ian Chamberlain, Alt Grendel, R. Cran, Gemma the Tea Lady, and Don Coynton, and Quintius, all with gold derbies. Jack Beaver, Edward C., Courtney Zayas, Eric the Red and Slatty Bardfast with gold derbies. Christopher Lowe, Jersey, Julian Z and Josh Bunton with gold derbies. Richard Burke. Uh, Quinn Tyus with the gold derby. Lucky Babcack, Sean Fornango, Eric the Red with gold derbies. No Name says, did someone say Minesweeper, Scotch, and Smoke Rings? No, No Name, nobody said that. But you, maybe, said that. Don't think anyone else said that. That's been on your agenda. No one else's. I <laughs> think I'll steer clear of a minesweeper scotch and smoke rings for now. All right, I hope you're ready to explore the latest vault that has just been released in Fallout 76. Oh, please tell me you're working. Thank you. A dolphin human hybrid hive mind. Oh, God. Well, we talked enough about that last night. No need to tread over previously trodden ground. Let's just get into the game and avoid the topic of dolphins altogether, please. Please. Just altogether, please. God. Julian Zia says, so Ox, great to see you. Can't wait for you to get into Vault 96 and unravel the story. I want your thoughts. Well, I can't wait to offer my thoughts. I'll try to be as thorough as I possibly can. I recovered from red worms. I have everything I need here. Okay, so where is Vault 96? I have no idea where to look. Is it the... Oh, there it is. That's right, it was the vault that we had previously found close to the federal disposal field. Tell you what, let's go back to camp. Let's uh, get rid of our excess junk. Let's... Um, get some food, prepare for the upcoming battle. Uh, Darth Knight says, uh, Resident Evil 4 for Scotch and Smoke Rings. No, I, you know, I, I bought and installed Resident Evil 4, but as I said, um, it was just way too clunky. I just couldn't, I just couldn't play it. 
the way that they've got moving and aiming mapped to um, the mouse is it was just so awkward for me so yeah not gonna not gonna be doing that Okay, well now that we're no longer incognito, we can put our backpack back on. Oh, these are the new Brotherhood civvies. Okay. Cool, cool Brotherhood civvies. This is the new mercenary outfit. Nice. Looking dapper. Alright, let's scrap down anything we got that we don't need. Like the robot left leg. Pump action shotgun, the shovel. Who's shooting? I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? Oh, this camp is always so noisy. Julian Z says Ox just a heads up. Lore reading is a part of the quest. A Vault 96, but not all of the lore in the vault will have a quest marker. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, thank you, Julian Z. Gwendolyn says, so you don't want to know about the dolphin-shaped map that is Vault 96? Kidding, it isn't. Thank you for that one. I'm so glad you're kidding. Michael Stim says, Ox, what's the deal with your cigars not showing up? Uh, just shipping. I, I ordered them. Uh, late. Come on! I stuck. Wait a minute, I did scrap junk, right? I think I did. Yep. All right, let's store all of the junk. Let's get my Gauss shotgun, just in case I need something that packs a bigger punch. Oh. What? They wrecked my wall. What is the point of all of this? If this is going to wreck my wall. Why even have defense if they can't defend me from the people trying to shoot down my wall? Oh, now they want to stop, huh? Always when I'm outside my power armor, too. Error. Based on current number of registered naughty children, this unit is suffering from a severe coal shortage. 
Uh, Altair says, I just finished the next part yesterday. You better bring the big guns. Thank you, Altair. Julian Z says, with camp slots, Ox, maybe consider a less noisy local. Maybe. I'll have to consider it. Uh, Rusenkauer says, hello. Hello, Rusenkauer. Nuclear strike This imminent. game is just so noisy. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Maybe I'm just getting old, but it's, Thank you I feel like your it's such a noisy game. This game. An AI robot talking here, people shouting there. All right, now what did I, I'm trying to find my Gauss shotgun. A ghost bunner says, my father-in-law passed away this morning. The funeral home folks just left uh, with him, raising a glass to an old Navy vet veteran. Raising a, gra a glass to your, your father-in-law. Sorry for your loss. I'm glad you were able to know him. All right, uh... Quad Gauss Rifle. I have an instigating Gauss Rifle. There it is. Is it broken? It's broken. All right, let's repair my Gauss shotgun up and then we go to Vault 96. Floating in space forever. Just why? Adhesive, really? I've got 184 rounds of VC ammunition. Let's see if I can craft some. I've got a lot of steel. Uh, Hold on, I gotta put my ammo crafting cards on now. something some ammo. We'll craft some uh, <clears throat> EC ammo as much as I can. Oh wait, that's an energy weapon. Ammo. That's it. It's all my steel. Uh, Brian Sanchez says, Ox, you should consider reworking your build. Shotguns can be very powerful, but only if you exclusively spec into them. Wednesday, I noticed uh, that your build was very weak. 
and when pit comes, it might be bad. Yeah, I, I'll consider respecting my build. Joe Googe says, have you decided on your next Scotch and Smoke Rings game, Dark Descent, hopefully? And I got 76 because of you. Bethesda needs to give you a cut of the profits, lol. That's extremely kind. But I didn't work on the game. I def definitely don't need a cut of the profits. Um, why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I, why can't I move? I just can't shake these nightmares. Uh, Ant says, are you able to do any legendary crafting for power armor? Just Not yet. Milo why? says, legendary perk ammo factory. I'll probably have to get that. Um, I can't seem to move. The USSA put us through. Even though she's an AI, Dana deserved that second chance. There's something potentially interesting. Why can't I move? Right. Uh, just another day in Fallout 76. Let me see here. Can I fast travel out? No, because I'm encumbered. Why can't I move? All right, uh, I'm gonna have to reload. Give me just a second. Open your pit, boy. I can't. What? Why can't I open my pit, boy? I can't jump. I can't wasid. I can't move. I can't open my pit, boy. I can interact with objects. But that's it. All right, I'm just gonna reload. Katarik says, at least it's before you get into Vault 76. Yeah, God knows what's waiting for me there. I just wanted to reload and get some food for the journey. Not get assaulted by super mutants and get stuck in the geometry of my own camp. Try this again. A uh, bug fast travel back to your camp. I couldn't because I was encumbered. DL Stone says headed uh, into work. Ox thought I'd send just some support to you. Given all the content you give us and the continued hard work you do to always keep us entertained. Hope you have. Um, that's a typo. Hope you have an amazing stream and a great weekend. Thank you very much, DL Stone. That's extremely kind. No! No! Not under! Ah, oh, man. Why? All right, maybe if I put... At least this is fixed. I can access my inventory. Oh, and I can't because it's it's gonna put it up there. Try it again! God, I just need to move camps or something. I just can't be in this area. I can't have a camp that's multiple levels because I'm gonna spawn underneath it. Try again. All right, I gotta move before the camp spawns on top of me. Because it's gonna put me in the water. Of course it's going to put me in the water. Give me controls, come on, let me move. Let me move. Let me move.
Okay. Let's do some cooking really quickly if we can. If I have any dirty water. I don't even know if I do. Even though food doesn't seem to bother our characters anymore, the chat would not leave me alone about being thirsty and hungry in my last live stream. So let's make some food real quick. Ah, uh, Camp Awesome Zone says load Camp 2 and reinsert Camp 1. Is that a thing? Jillian Z, uh, Z says, Ox, in these cases, you can just fast travel to your camp. Yes, again, I was encumbered and not in power armor, and I couldn't place my power armor uh, due to it wanting to go onto the uh, level above me. So, we'll try that when I have the ability. Uh, let's try sweet potato stew. I just oh. can't shake these nightmares. I need more boiled water. So loud. Okay, soup, soup, soup. Let's try corn soup. Carrot soup. Hey, you. Just came by to brighten my day a bit. Hmm? All right. Oh, can I do meat? Yeah. Got my alert meat. Okay. Let's eat. Whoa, what's that? Oh, this is new. Oh, they've got a new section of, of items. Are not oh, that's cool. With your gift. This unit is not authorized to make exchanges. Look out. Please contact your closest Rocco. I'm going to eat half the food I made just to get workshop for further to where I need inquiries. to go. Okay. Uh, Milos says, when stuck, activate the second camp and then reactivate the main one after moving out. I'll have to figure out how to do that. No Name says, I hear Santa Bot. Long live Santa Bot. Santa Bot's the best. Cillian says, you should invest in the survival syringe perk. I'm sure there are a lot of perks I should probably uh, invest into. I'll have to check it out. Okay. Uh, let's see. To get all my perk cards back. Gunsmith. I just can't shake these nightmares. Sneak. Floating in space forever. Just why? And this was a bloody mess, right? Okay, I, I do have all of my rifleman ones on, don't I? I do. And all of my shotgun ones, and I've got... And quiet. I got. I just have to turn off everything in my camp that makes noise. I got to get rid of all of the companions. I got to get rid of Santa Bot as much as I love him. And then the only thing that'll cause me frustration when I get to camp is just being randomly attacked by super mutants, neighboring super mutants.
Captain Awesome Zone says to switch camp, go to the map section in the top left corner. All right, I'll look for that later. Gwendolyn says food and drink doesn't debuff now. Rather, being fed gives a buff. Semantics, really. But different food also gives additional buffs. Thank you, Gwendolyn. All right, now I remember discovering this, uh... Hello. <sighs> Crap. Trash. Junk. Ooh. Nah, that's worthless. You ever find those magazines lying around? They're my favorite. How about you? Have you ever read them before? Oh, yeah. I, I love reading them. I have a few spares that I scavenged. Living love is just so fascinating. I burn through them like crazy. <laughs> of course, this raider. This raider wants to live in love. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Well, I hope you enjoy. Oh, thank you, guy. It's a very kind raider. He's giving me uh, magazines for free. All right, I'm going to get all the steel and adhesive I possibly can. <clears throat> No Name says, Santa bot must stay. Make everyone else leave. They're unworthy. Yeah, I think I will. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what is this story? We've got tied up bodies in the back of a wagon and then this guy on a tractor. He's a raider, so he must be a slaver. And there's a crossbow sitting here. Interesting. Yeah, here it is. I wonder why they um, removed it from my map. I discovered this, you know, over a year ago, back when we first started exploring Fallout 76. We couldn't go inside. We couldn't uncover the story. <clears throat> but the exterior was here. And we discovered the map marker. Durag says Skyrim. Thank you, Durag. And then Eric the Red says that Raider stop sign should... Uh, Shoulder armor would make a great addition to po a post-war chastity belt. Oh. Oh, it's a Skyrim reference? Oh! Thank you, Durag. All right, the introductory scene of Skyrim. Right? Okay, so we've got a vertebrate landing pad here and an elevator that no longer works. Terminal, we got some lore. Vault 96 access control terminal. Oh, vault door control. Error, due to the current state of emergency, normal access control procedures have been suspended. Emergency responders are admonished to respect vault protocols and prevent residents from exiting the vault. vault -Tec certified emergency response team leaders may override normal security protocols and open the vault door from this terminal. Wow. They were to keep people from leaving? Open the vault door. 
Validating emergency responder certification request timed out. Authorizing emergency access error. Accessing vault door control interlink error. Vault door is ajar and unresponsive. Please stand by and await vault security for further instructions. Omega Volwin says, Ox, as you find lore in the vault, the scribe lady will have new stuff to say, so talk to her sometimes while inside. Awesome, thank you for that. Will do. And a power armor frame just outside. <coughs> Yeah, it's a jar now. Somebody pried it open. Someone tried using dynamite. In we go. Why is the rock all white? Is that intentional or did a texture not load correctly? Is this supposed to be ice or snow? Hellcat mercenary corpse. Why is everything white? I feel like this might be a glitch. Oh, I could go back out to Appalachia from down here. There's another Hellcat Mercenary Snow. It's ice! The chat is saying that it's ice? All right, I guess it's intentional. Adhesive. Okay, <clears throat> ooh, holotape. Return to Appalachia. Personal log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. After all these years, I have come back, back to Appalachia, to West Virginia, to the home of my greatest personal and scientific failure. Academic research was a dead end. The world was descending into riots and ruin. Food shortages were increasing. Generating papers in a university lab to attempt to secure tenure seemed pointless. It felt irresponsible in the face of everything happening. West Tech approached me about joining the Greenhouse Initiative, genetic engineering to produce new crops and multiply production. Oh. It swept away my concerns about joining the private sector. Here was a chance to be on the cutting edge and solve real problems at the same time. Dr. Dumont described the goals of the Pan Immunity Virion and the Greenhouse Initiative in terms that set my mind ablaze. There was satisfaction to be had there doing the best work, advancing humanity, making the world better than it was. Then the funding vanished. The research staff was being cut with no explanation, simply a shift in priorities. Dumont begged me to stay, promising the new work would be vital and challenging. To my everlasting shame, I did end long. Panimmunity Virion Project. <clears throat> We've got FEV, or the precursor to the to the FEV. Vault 96 Monitoring Terminal. Emergency Management System Documents. Uh, select a document to view. Overview. Congratulations, your vault has been equipped with the latest in automated emergency response technology. The Vault Tech Emergency Management System. 
The Emergency Management System is a comprehensive database of automated contingency protocols developed to assist overseers, vault residents, and when slash if available, vault tech field personnel in identifying, diagnosing, and resolving a wide array of potential emergency situations. This is all very familiar. We, we, we saw all of this in the last vi uh, vault I did a video on. I think it was 93, something like that. Using the emergency management system. In the unlikely event of an emergency, your vault mainframe will automatically assess the situation and select an appropriate error resolution protocol from the emer emergency management system database. Populated by thousands of programs submitted by Vault Tech University's talented undergraduate students, your database holds <clears throat> the solution to any problem you may encounter. When applicable, your vault may broadcast an emergency transmission to any Vault Tech field personnel in the area. Response times in the aftermath of a nuclear conflict may vary. The emergency response team leader should use any available terminals to activate the emergency management system and indicate their team's relative level of expertise. This will calibrate the protocol and adjust the hazard pay or bonuses to be awarded, if any. Thereafter, simply follow the audible uh, instructions from the vault mainframe until the problem is resolved. The mainframe will continually monitor the situation and introduce additional contingencies as required. Okay, so this is all from, we're, this, we're familiar with these two from previous vaults. These, it appears, are new. Protocol XC243 Containment Experimental. Summary protocol, collect and analyze genetic samples, research and develop appropriate countermeasures, secure the vault. Student developer Zane Okoye, developer notes, Experimental research subjects may exhibit unanticipated capabilities that render conventional containment or extermination methods ineffective. This protocol compens uh, compensates by employing the vault -Tec Automated Research System, ours, to conduct emergency research projects, formulate, propose, and test hypotheses, and correlate those hypotheses with extant vault systems to identify the most effective countermeasures available to emergency responders. If the vault's ours includes an automated fabrication system, models R5800+. Plus. This protocol additionally co-ops the R's research credit system to support credit-limited fabrication of countermeasure devices. Credits are used as a limiting factor to prevent the fabrication of ineffective devices or the exhaustion of vault fabrication resources on a single emergency. <sighs> Great, so looks like we're going to have to craft something, some things deeper in with credits, hopefully not caps, are we going to have to find <clears throat> a new type of currency in this vault? Professor E. DeMarcos, grade B, remarks a thoughtful, well-considered protocol that effectively integrates a wide range of vault systems, including the always challenging R's. This protocol blindly accepts R's hypotheses. While a significant risk, it offers considerable power in adapting to novel situations beyond the scope of, of any single EMS protocol. The integration of the research credit system as a mechanism to limit automated fabrication is especially clever. Regrettably, I must deduct a grade level because this protocol is utterly useless. The kind of live subject experiments here envisioned would be a violation of federal law and vault high ethical standards. Oh, vault high ethical standards. This guy, what reality was this guy living in? <laughs> Oh, yeah. A violation of federal law. And watch, we're going to find this entire vault is a violation of federal law. Vault Tech's high ethical standards, my butt. Um, uh, Logan says, hey, Oxhorn, I just finished all of your Fallout series from one to four. You helped me rule New Vegas and lead the Minutemen to victory. Thank you for all of these awesome lore videos. Thank you for watching, Logan. Good to have you on the program today. All right, so uh, that was the uh, experimental containment protocol. Let's see what the mainframe virus protocol, AV992, is. Summary protocol, obtain and analyze the virus source code. Conduct a virus scan. <clears throat> Clear the virus from all affected systems. Student developer Asha Hunter, developer notes, this protocol uses adaptive monitoring to detect, observe, and respond to vital intrusions. 
Simple viruses are automatically eliminated. In the event of a more extensive infection, this protocol utilizes available analytic systems to deconstruct the virus, identify vulnerabilities, and coordinate appropriate scan and repair procedures. Okay. Professor E. DeMarcos, grade F. Remarks, this is by far the most over-engineered protocol in this entire database. As a senior student engaged in independent study, I expect your work to be clear, concise, and efficient, adhering to established coding standards and best practices. A simple heuristic detection algorithm would have been an excellent thesis project. Instead, this protocol is so convoluted, it seems almost intentionally obfuscated. While I normally support extensive redundancy planning, the level of overlapping contingencies and fallbacks here is truly excessive. A viral genetic algorithm capable of infecting a vault mainframe, evading existing quarantine systems, and dynamically circumventing multiple tiers of EMS protocols is beyond the ability of all but the most highly skilled programmers. Assuming your student protocol could defeat something like that is the height of hubris. Come on, guy. She made something cool. She's trying to protect the computers from viruses. Sure, it's over-engineered, but maybe she thought of all possible angles, and he's going to give her an F for that? What a jerk. Right. Uh, let's take a look at the Ni Vault 96 official documents here. Let's learn exactly what this vault was all about by reading the Vault 96 protocol. Welcome to Vault 96, an ARC for the Atomic Age. Within these walls lies one of the world's largest cryonic storage facilities with thousands of animals carefully cataloged and preserved in stasis. In the aftermath of a nuclear war, mass extinctions and mutations will devastate the outside world. Your mission is to monitor surface conditions, assess genetic damage to local fauna, and as conditions warrant, gradually reintroduce species to correct genetic drift and restore ecological equilibrium. Okay, so that's the public facing goal. What's the real goal of the vault? Vault 96 protocol addendum. For automated release <clears throat> upon sealing Vault 96, your protocol has been amended as follows. The staff of Vault 96 will consist of five designated scientific specialists. The purpose of Vault 96 is to conduct genetic experiments to explore potential mutations that may arise in post-nuclear fauna and develop appropriate countermeasures. Cool. Research will be assessed based on the lethality of the mutations developed. Results will be transmitted via satellite to external facilities for analysis and de deployment. Whoa. I mean, the implications of that is really interesting. It tells us that vault -Tec has external facilities that they planned to inhabit and to use to conduct further research after the apocalypse, if they're going to be taking data from a vault like this after the end of the world. To encourage compliance, the overseer will assign weekly quotas. Failure to meet quota will result in the termination of underperforming personnel. The termination? It's the end of the world. The vault door is sealed. How do you terminate underperforming personnel? Oh, God. This is going to get dark. Following an initial one-month shelter period, vault robots will periodically collect samples of surface creatures for preservation and further study. Residents will not be permitted to exit the vault. Residents will not be permitted to introduce native or genetically modified species outside the vault. Any attempt to deviate from this protocol will, will result in termination. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> well, well, well. I have a feeling this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> okay. The Hellcats are here and they're all dead at the door. The entire interior of this vault is snowy. And I wonder why. It looks like we've got a, a survivor down there. Did some of their cryogenic tanks break out? Like what, what happened? find out. Right, we've got lockers over there. 
nothing much of interest. Let's see over here a couple. There we go. First aid kit, get some boiled water. Let's break down some of the scrap. Hey, at least they gave us a workbench at the beginning of the vault, unlike in Vault 94, where we had to go into the very middle of the vault before we finally finally found a workbench that we could use. That's good. All right, Hellcat Mercenary Corpse and a box. Wow, I'm finding all sorts of metal that I need for my ammo crafting. This is good. Hey, new holotape, Vault 96 Community Planning. All right, calm down. Calm down. We won't... Calm down? Eric. Damn, is this? I know this isn't what you expected. I'm still trying to process it all, too. Bullshit. You worked for vault -Tec. You had to know. Jeanette, I already told you. So, the door has sealed. There is no way for us to reopen it. Apparently not. And it's just the five of us in here? That's right. That's crazy. You could fit an entire town in here. I want to know about the experiment. Are there really 10,000 creatures in cryo here? And instead of preserving them, you want us to experiment on them, induce mutations, optimize for lethality. Those are our orders. You will all have weekly research quarters to and if we refuse, or fall short? Termination! Anyone failing to meet their quota, or otherwise trying to rebel, will be eliminated. Ho ho ho! You can't be serious! Footsteps. Sir? I'm afraid so. Okay, <clears throat> that was weird. I, I briefly saw subtitles for footsteps, and then there was a pause. Right. <laughs> Vault tech never changes. Alright, guy. Woods! Little late to the party, aren't you? If you're looking to loot the place, some blood eagles are ahead of you in line. I'd stop you, but... Uh, I think I quit. Blood eagles? Yeah. Raider types, but more bloodthirsty. You know? You can usually deal with the crater sort. If a blood eagle so. <laughs> they enjoy the killing. Who are you? Name's Woods. Corporal Woods, Hellcat Company. Mercenaries. We got hired by this creep of a doctor to guard the place. Among other things. Promised us salvage rights here when he was done. Hmm. I don't think we're going to collect on that. Okay, so the Hellcats are the gunners of the Fallout 76 universe. Nice. We needed a more organized raider-like faction, but one that wasn't just crazy on drugs all the time. <laughs> so it's, we, we've got our gunners. That's great. I need to know more. Hell of a bedside manner you've got. You know, I'm dying. Right? <sighs> Go ahead. Not like I'm doing anything else. Clock's ticking, though. Oh. Oh, no! Is she gonna die after this conversation? Whoops! <laughs> well, since this is the last conversation on Earth you're gonna have, let's, uh... Let's find out why'd you choose to become a mercenary? How did you make that life choice? Seriously? I'm bleeding out in front of you and you want my life story. <laughs> oh, hell. Rather die with somebody than alone. Whatever. 
Best of a bad situation, all right? The Hellcats had limits, a code. Better than joining up with raiders. We did good jobs, as often as bad. Until this time, at least. How did a mercenary squad get overrun by blood eagles? It's our own fault. We got lazy. This place is so far out of the way, nobody ever passes by. Kind of the point. We figured we'd be shooing off the occasional stray scavenger that came poking around. This lot sent grenades through the entrance before we knew they were there. Rushed us while we were recovering. Oh. I took a bullet in the gut. Bastards left me to die slowly, because they thought it was funny. Wait, a doctor hired you? What's going on here? Yeah, Blackburn. Real unnerving guy, even before we found out what he was doing. What was he doing? Kidnapping was just the start of it. Oh. We should have cut ties then, contract or no. Even mercs should have lines they don't cross. I'd say I didn't have a choice, but we're mercenaries. And we do it for the money, not some noble ideal. Nobody to blame but ourselves. Oh, these Hellcat mercenaries are suddenly way more interesting. I want to learn all about them. Are the abductees here? Jesus, interrogating a dying woman. <laughs> That's stone cold. Ah, oh, don't look like that. I'm just fucking with you. This is important. Maybe you can fix our mistakes. Okay. It's where he had us bringing them. Other squads did, I mean. I was just guard duty. Not that it makes many less guilty. Whether or not any of them are left alive? No clue. Wouldn't count on it, with the Blood Eagles ransacking the place. Can't figure the dock will last long either. Eh, that doesn't bother me, though. So the dock's inside, the captives are inside, but the Blood Eagles suddenly attacked and they're coming up from behind. Well, look, there must be something I can do to help you. That's kind, but it's a little late for that. I've seen enough gut shots in my time to know a stim pack and bandages aren't gonna fix this. You'd be surprised. This one's got my name on it. God knows I've done enough to deserve it. What? Oh. Well. I'm really cut up over Woods dying like this. A mercenary, she did wrong. Loot, loot, no loot, no loot, no. But she was remorseful. John Doe says, hey Ox, I haven't uh, donated in a while, so I hope this makes up for it. Life's been going good for me so far, and I give most of the credit to you and your streams and badass content. Love you, Ox, man. Thank you, John Doe. Extremely generous donation. I really appreciate it, John. Well, that's a bummer. Entrance terminal. We need to go back there to signal Valdez. And look at that, I'm already thirsty. I ate all that food and water before I came to the vault and I'm already thirsty. Why even bother? Emergency lockdown, can we open the door without Valdez? Access denied. Emergency lockdown in effect. Override protocols not found. All right, let's go signal Valdez. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, that's just the same thing. Um, okay. Activate emergency transponder. Ping sent. Whoa! 
Oh, you're fast. You snuck up on me, creepy lady. Don't do that. Hey, <laughs> did you find your way okay? Wow, it's freezing in here. Look at all this ice. The environmental controls must be damaged. What happened here? Those are Hellcat Company uniforms, right? It looks like a massacre. One survivor, but I couldn't save her. Said they were working for Blackburn. Then Blood Eagles arrived and overran them. Blood Eagles? What are they doing here? Looks like Paladin Romani was right. There's a link between the abductions, Blackburn, and the super mutants. We still need to figure out what. Give me a moment to look at these terminals. Already read them. Wow. She walked Ooh, right through me. That's not good. The vault's on internal lockdown. I guess someone's responding to the Blood Eagle attack. If there are automated defenses still working, they'll all be active. We may be facing more than just Blood Eagles. Be careful. Oh, great. Let's get moving. I'll follow your lead. Well, I hope I can get through this. I have less than 500 EC rounds. I've got around 700 shotgun shells. I only have a 120 lever action rifle. Rounds. Gauss shotgun. Maybe I'll use the Gauss rifle that uses Gauss ammunition more slowly. Come on! Locked. Must be the security lockdown. Let me try something. Okay, thank you, scribe. Got it. I was able to use the Pit Boys protocols to get the doors open, but it fried the circuits. If you run into any more locked doors, we're gonna need another way through. But you don't have a Pit Boy. You're not a vault dweller, Valdez. What do you mean, Pit Boy? The Pit Boy pro. I have a pit boy and I couldn't. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so we need to go down there, but we find an emergency ventilation system. Grab that from metal. Is that it? Nothing here? Okay, yeah, it looks like nothing here. Here's the vault atrium. Stay hidden. We survived. Yeah, way to shoot first and ask questions later, Valdez. I was still trying to figure out if that guy was hostile. You know, maybe get a stealth critical, but no, you just start shooting with your pipe pistol. <laughs> All right. Getting goosebumps. Something's in here. Just shit. Are 
It seems I have an excess of visitors today. Ah, yes. The one I met at Fort Atlas. I did hope we would meet again under more convivial circumstances. These are not they, unfortunately. I have no quarrel with the Brotherhood, but I must ask you to leave immediately. Please leave me be. I cannot be responsible for what may happen if you remain. I guess we found Dr. Blackburn. Yeah. Looks like most of this place is locked off. We need to search everywhere, but our options are limited right now. I think that door labeled mainframe is stuck open, though. Let's start there. I'll start where I want to start, Valdez. I'm going to explore this entire atrium. You know what? It sounded like Blackburn from the terminal had regretted the decisions he made before the war. Had regretted working with the government on the Pan Immunity Virion project. So maybe he's not necessarily a bad guy. Maybe he came here to try to correct the mistakes he made before the war, and we're just getting bad guy vibes from him. Well, let's not judge this book by the cover just yet. All right, so we need to go over there to the mainframe wing to search for clues. But from here, we've got a door to the Overseer. Let's just take a look at the surroundings first, right? So we've got this top level of the atrium with a door to the Overseer over there. We've got a door to the mainframe wing over there with robots down there. That's the automated security they've got going on. Then this is the way we came from, isn't it? Yeah, that's the entrance. I like how there's a nice little ice bridge connecting this part. You can loot the bodies. Hellcat mercenary. Then over here we've got a lounge and a research wing. <clears throat> Julian Z says, Ox, I feel like as a scribe, she should have better weaponry, like maybe a laser pistol or at least, you know, a 10 millimeter, but a pipe pistol? Shame. It sounded like a pipe pistol. Maybe I was wrong when she pulled it out, but I thought she just pulled out a pipe pistol to, <laughs> to shoot the blood eagle. All right, so that's, let's see. Before we go, let's go to the lounge. Looks pretty small. What are we going to find in here? We got some chunks. Everybody loves some good chunks. I think I made those chunks. A chunk a hat. I'm gonna grab the beer I need <clears throat> in case I need to pass a charisma check later on. All right, and then we find a hole in the wall that leads to the research wing. No, this is more of the atrium. Yeah, the research wing. We otherwise wouldn't be able to get in here. I should probably follow the quest markers, right? The quest markers will probably send me to the research wing eventually. So, <clears throat> maybe we don't go to the research wing just yet. I don't wanna start exploring a bunch of lore before we actually get there. Utility room one, oh, that's locked to us. Well, we'll probably get to utility room one from the research wing. Workroom that's iced shut. Overseer. Gonna need a key card. Hey, we got an iBot. Let's see what's down here. First floor. Robot wreckage. So the Blood Eagles took care of most of the pre-war robotic security. Cafeteria. I've never understood why aluminum trays give me the aluminum I need for crafting, but cafeteria trays don't. Are they plastic?
All right, so we've got a hole in the wall here. Oh, it leads to a workshop of sorts. Folder, I can never tell. All right, so this must have been where one of the residents slept. We can go deeper on into there. Living quarters D. Oh, God. Reactor monitoring. Okay, we're gonna need a key card for that as well. Where does this go? All right, so that goes back up to reactor monitoring. And this, all right, so that's the cafeteria. Living quarters D. We've got a staircase going down. Fluid handling. And then a staircase going up and then that goes back to the atrium. We can't get into fluid handling because the door is frozen solid. Where does this go? This leads us back to the top floor, back to maintenance chamber. All right. Well, all roads lead to maintenance, looks like. And we're back at the entrance. Oh! Hellcat Mercenary in T-51B. How did I miss that earlier? All right, let's finish exploring this bottom level before we go to maintenance. It's a 40 It's a 44 caliber, not a pipe pistol. I was wrong. She's got a 44. Okay, there we go. I'm officially encumbered now. Okay, another card reader to go upstairs. Living Quarters B and Living Quarters C. Fire cap. Wow, imagine having to live in here with all of these garden supplies. And this guy's got a bare skin run. Must have been a taxidermist. Julian Z says, Ox, feel free to explore everything you can. Anything important or quest related is currently locked and will be opened at the correct time. Don't worry. Awesome. Thank you for that. All right, we got a terminal in here. Nina's terminal. Uh, Vault 96 Personal Terminal, Nina Valia, Chief Geneticist, Research Lab Access. Error, unable to establish a connection to the an analysis mainframe. Recheck your connection and try again. Personal logs. Data corruption detected. Out of 36 files in this directory, two were recovered successfully. Let's start at the beginning. This is 2077. Personal log. 
October 28th, 2077. These circumstances may be deplorable, but I concede vault knew what they were doing. The research facilities here are almost a match for my own, and the level of automation more than makes up for the lack of support staff. Molly was inconsolable. I had to help her set up her lab station. I regret dragging her into this. She's always been delicate. Will the heat temper the steel or break it? Then two years later, December 14th, 2079. As much as I despise them, the quotas have worked wonders for productivity. Hans and Jeanette have been helping more around the lab, and Molly has finally stopped asking for us to take nights off. The threat of imminent death does concentrate the mind. The hours have grown longer, but the challenge is exhilarating. For once, a project with clear goals, clear results, clear evaluation criteria, and an opportunity to dive in without paperwork or regulators, institutional review boards, or committee meetings. The amount of work I can get done, now that I can finally focus, is nothing short of astonishing. Well, I'm glad it worked out for her. Michael Stim says, Ox, why not scrap the harpoon gun and vampire bat? Do I have a harpoon gun? Oh, yeah. I should have stored it. I should have stored it back at camp. That was a staircase we couldn't go through. That brings us back around to here. Frozen solid. And that's the cafeteria. All right, let's try to go to the research wing, but I think it's gonna be locked to us anyway. What was this again? Oh yeah, fluid handling. All right, there's a workshop at the beginning of the vault. I need to go there to scrap all of the, scrap down all of the supplies that I've looted so far. Hopefully we'll find an ammo crafting bench. All right, let's go as far as we can towards the research wing, and then we'll go to maintenance. And we can't. Okay. To maintenance.
Not done yet, Valdez! Or maybe we are! Okay, so we find a staircase going down, and we're on a platform. I can feel it. Something's close. Okay, where are you? I heard you. How do I get to this point? Trons. I hate them. <clears throat> well, that wasn't a blood eagle. This is a labyrinth. I guess I won't worry about the other blood eagle for now. Vault 96. My discovery of Vault 96 feels, despite my abhorrence of magical thinking, like predestination. A biological research facility unoccupied simply waiting for me to discover it. Everything in its place. Its systems ready for my arrival. Examination of the vault's computer systems and other records found leads me to understand that previous residents introduced a virus into the mainframe in an attempt to end some kind of hostilities within it. This may explain the unsealed door and their untimely fates. The mainframe requires some work to bring fully online, but any hostile programming it has has been eliminated by the virus they introduced. Too late to help them, perhaps, but sufficient to clear the path for me. Mainframe access terminal. Software operations, error, executive subroutines compromised, virus detected, automated vault monitoring and mainframe directives unavailable, all non-essential operations have been suspended. Lucky Babcack says, shout out to the great mods in the chat. Major shout out to all the great mods. Thank you, mods. <clears throat> Jared on Facebook says, damn it, just went down for a nap and I miss an Oxhorn stream. How much did I miss? We've been live for about an hour and 20 minutes. Mon Mon on Facebook with a donation of stars. Thank you, Mon Mon. 
Austin on Facebook says, So Waxhorn, after the Metro series, what else do you have left to show us for Fallout 3? Or have you finally explored all of its lore? After the Metro series, we will have pretty much gone through everything in Fallout 3. Data operations. Uh, and we get the same message. Subsystem operations. Subsystem control transfer to overseer's personal terminal. All right, so we need to find a way to the overseer's room. System specifications. Purchase order, blah, blah, blah. Install date 2077, vault 96. Primary functionality, operations vault. Secondary, uh, secondary functionality, research generic, hardware specifications, yada, yada, yada. All right. So nothing of interest there. Well, it looks like the uh, graduate student project that got an F successfully eradicated the virus from the mainframe. She should get an A. All right, so we've got something in this. Why does it still say danger? <laughs> FEV, research log number 22. Research log. specimens in the vault was excessive, if not actually misplaced. I am down to the last four viable test subjects. Further research is at an impasse, unless I move to human subjects. Obtaining volunteers will be impossible. The necessary experimentation to even approach a functional result will be unavoidably fatal to some. I will have to take extreme measures to obtain subjects. Thousands, perhaps millions of lives will be saved. Utility trumps sentimentality. Mm. And log. Okay, so he's not kidnapping people to turn them into super mutants. Or maybe he is, but whatever it is he's doing, it's to try and cure FEV, to cure the virus. Point six, not great, not terrible. Question, question. Mm. Royal Gaming with a donation, a very generous one. Thank you, Royal Gaming. Quantum Research Lab Terminal. Mila444 says kidnapping is still kidnapping. You're absolutely right. Quantum Stabilization Field inactive. Quantum Field Generators inactive. Quantum Inverters active. Mainframe Quantum Particle Coherence is within normal parameters. All systems stable. Overseer override entry one error timestamp corrupted. Blast these computers! 
Having read Dr. Memling's notes regarding the out-of-date nature of the reactors and cryogenics pods, I suspect the builders of this vault likewise skimped on their computer infrastructure. Entry 2, timestamp corrupted. I have succeeded in transferring all subsystem controls to the terminal in the overseer's office. It is a suitably isolated location, and within the vault's systems under my control there, I should be able to secure in the event my guards decide to alter the terms of our arrangement. So, he went to the overseer's room. Also, timestamp corrupted. I remain concerned that I may have missed a stray security key card when I searched the place. Any intruder with hostile intent would be able to override my control of the doors. I must plan accordingly, he says. Well, that's handy. All right, so we need to find a key card. And then we've got a holotape. Let's eject it so that we can actually get the subtitles. Vault 96 mainframe lab recording. system offline. Activating emergency repair protocol. CR-889. 889, that's... Hans, we need a reactor brownout. All right, give me a minute. 109's next. Jeanette? Ready on the detonator. Molly, are you in? Sorry, sorry, just as... Brownout in three, two... One. Power fluctuations detected in the engineering wing. Activating emergency stabilization protocol ES-109. Detonation in the cryogenics wing. That should do it. Activating superseding protocol Omega. Whoops. Eric? That's not in the database. What? Protocol confirmed. All exits have sealed to prevent a containment breach. Calculating optimal process to exterminate all personnel in the vault. Ah! Done. All remaining personnel may now be terminated. <laughs> System detected. Suspect data stream has been quarantined. <laughs> what? Bypass! Bypass! Ah! All residents have been terminated. Operation successful. <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, Vault Tech. Milos says when to go, I'm not sure, but I can tell you where. Thank you, Milos. Now, interestingly, it says to open the reactor wing, though the terminal entry we found was talking about the Overseer. Uh, let's see if Scribe Valdez has anything to say. What can I help you with, Initiate? What should we be doing? Our first priority is finding any clues about the missing people and what's been going on here. Anything else can wait. Could you take control away from Blackburn via the mainframe? No. It appears he transferred all main system control to the Overseer's office. It's the smart move with the Blood Eagles here. Let's keep moving. Agreed. After you, Initiate. Alright, so he talked about a stray key card, which we may likely find lying around over here. We've got an optional objective to short-circuit the terminal fuse box, which may be our fail-safe measure if we don't find the key card. But tell you what, let me do a thorough sweep of this area to see if I can find the key card before we go the, um, the short-circuiting fuse box thing. Thank you. 
If you see a key card lying around, do let me know. All right, let's go level by level. We did the top level. Let's do this mainframe level. It's not going to be obviously sitting on one of these shelves, is it? All right, now we'll do the bottom level. Key card, key card, my kingdom for a key card. Julian Z says Ox key card isn't it, yet it's a terminal or a fuse box. But the 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 entry we read said key card. Well, maybe we find the key card elsewhere, but I definitely want to be thorough. So we'll explore everything anyway. Just to make sure. Robotics Workstation. Jeanette Higgins, Chief Robotics Technician. Work orders. Warning, data corruption detected. Out of 18 files in this directory, zero were recovered successfully. Oh, they didn't have to write any lore for this guy. Please contact a main maintenance engineer for assistance. Well, let's try personal logs. Okay, here we go. Three were recovered successfully. Vince M says the key card is a scripted event. Okay, well then I won't worry about it. Julian Z says that comes later. Go through the door, you'll see yourself. All right, thank you, Julian. Thank you, Vince. Uh, let's start at the beginning, uh, October 25th, 2077. This is sick. I knew Eric was a bastard, but I never imagined he'd signed up for something like this. What were they thinking? Pick five top scientists, lock them up, and work them to death? All for some insane genetic experiment? Damn them. December 2nd, 2077. If this research was so damn important, why just us? Why don't we have a full team of people who actually know crap about biology? Nina and Molly are running the show. The rest of us are just glorified support staff. Jeanette, fix this protectron. Hans, stop that cryo leak. Eric, just get out of the way. August 23rd, 2080. Many, many years later. 
What the hell is Eric doing? Nina's really struggling. We've all been pitching in. Even Hans is down in the lab this week. Meanwhile, Eric just sits up in his office, pecking away. What's he doing up there? Filing reports with vault -Tec? His life is on the line here, too. Unless there's something else he hasn't told us, I wouldn't put it past him. I'm going to give that asshole a piece of my mind. There's the fuse box. Mainframe chamber. Oh! <laughs> no. I'd rather not. That did it! <laughs> no mini game for me! But what if it has lore? It might have lore. Santi Island P R O S E C P R O. I O N Ooh. T I Bingo. It's just door control. All right. Uh, Brian says Vault 96 lore video incoming. Maybe. Probably. Oh, and I can't actually loot any of that. Your persistent refusal to depart is a distraction I do not need. Please, I am asking you again. Leave this place and do not return. There is nothing for you here but sorrow. Whatever you think you will accomplish here, I promise you that you will not. Well, how about you let me make that decision? Whoops. All right, so down was to the reactor. Let's see if they left any beer for us. No. That goes down to the reactor level. Cram. Cool. Cool. I'm losing it. We're all losing. Brian Sanchez says there's legendary perks to open those instantly, by the way. Subscribe!
Man, that sucker uses up a lot of Gauss rifle ammunition. All right, well, we kind of lost our bearings in that firefight. Let's uh, figure out where we are, where we went. This would have gone to where we came in from. Ryan Sanchez says, there's legendary perks to open those instantly, by the way. You should have enough perk coins to get it, by the way. You get a legendary perks in the perk menu. Cool, thank you, Brian. I'll take a look at that. President says, Oxhorn autocorrect for swear words failed. I didn't think I would see the day just by reading the log just now. Yeah, I mean, I only autocorrect for certain swear words, like hell and damn and asshole and bastard. Those really aren't bad. Everything else I try to filter out. HDN Exo says, I'm a little late, but I noticed last night the scribe is better in a fight than the paladin was in the tunnels. <laughs> the scribe's doing pretty good. She's not so bad. All right, so this brings us back here. This is the booze table. That was the reactor level. We went down and around for that big firefight. Had we gone straight, we've got this bit of a sky bridge over here. Lockers, gas, storage. Atrium. All right, before we go... Ooh, here we go. Breakthrough. Some success at last. I remain far from the ultimate goal, but Serum 87A induced a remarkable 257% reduction in the impact of radiation on cellular structure and DNA replication, and a 153% increase in electrical impedance. The subject nonetheless died within hours, but this marks a breakthrough in systemic durability. I must record the results more fully in my logs after I scrub up. Let me get an idea of what he's doing. Trying to help the wasteland. One kidnapped victim at a time. Of course he is. Atrium workroom. Okay, door to workroom sealed to us. Door to atrium sealed with a key card. Engineering workstation. Work orders, these are gonna be empty, yep. But we got personal logs. Hans Memling, chief engineer, and we only get three of them starting all the way at the beginning, October 24th, 2077. Robin on Facebook with a tip. Thank you very much, Robin. Jared says, so, you know, Oxford, I just finished playing Steel Rain and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'll, um, I'll bear that in mind, Jared. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, didn't quite, I didn't expect a quiet retirement, did you, Hans? If it wasn't this, it would have been something else. Personal cryopod, one of those new beryllium reactors, digging Reinhardt out of whatever hole he is in with the Mars shot. At least this is different. Keeping this place running by myself should keep me on my toes. April 3rd, 2078. I have to say I'm disappointed. Aside from the mainframe and research lab, the tech here is a couple of years out of date. Seriously, 10 class six reactors? Put in one class 11 and be done with it. I can't believe Jeanette has to put up with that old robot fabrication system or take the cryopods. Sure, sure, animal subjects only, but those things leak helium like a, si a sieve. Give me another year or two and I'll make some real improvements around this place. Well, two years later, let's see exactly how many improvements he made. What's in Bay 86? Molly and Nina asked me to track down X001. Some specimen, the mainframe, won't release from cryo. It didn't show up in the database, so I decided to take my own inventory. There are 85 cryogenic bays, except at the back, bay 85, uh, at the back of bay 85, there's a door. Tungsten plated, military access controls, top of the line stuff. And if you look through the grating, it's just a single room, all concrete with one cryopod X-001. I swear I saw something move in there. Ooh. 
Oh, all right. Well, we need to find, we need to find Bay 85, look in the back, peer through the door, and gain access to pod X001. Thank you, Hans. Right, uh, let's see. Yeah, we can't go to the atrium. We need to go down there. We came from here. That goes to gas storage. But that's blocked up. Hollow tape. FEV research log number 38. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 38. The capture of human test subjects is itself less difficult than I imagined. The people of Appalachia are in bad need of medicine, and lone travelers are easy to approach when one has a doctor. I tell myself these acts are necessary, the work too important, and I cannot complete it without living human subjects to experiment upon. It is I compound failure upon failure. In my quiet hours, I questioned what I have made of myself in pursuit of this goal. I began this enterprise fully cognizant of what it might take. But even with that foreknowledge, I could not comprehend the weight of it. Have I become no different from that fool he lies? A font of monsters with no humane end in sight? Am I deluded in believing myself capable of success? These moments pass. I push aside those doubts and focus on the work before me. The people of Appalachia need this. The world needs this. Let them vilify me when they learn what I have done. I will make a better future for them, even if I do not live to see it myself. And long. Fine words, Dr. Blackburn. If you're even capable of success. It's a big if. A vault dweller. Pip boy removed. Presumably from this vault, but we learned that there were only five guys here. So which one is this? And who was the one we found in the cave? And who's that? Chunky. Keys. Floyd's key. Oh, Floyd's key. What's Floyd's key going to open? <laughs> I'm glad we were paying attention. Secondary reactor bank, primary reactor bank. Here we go. Always got to get that sneak critical. This goes back here. I thought there was another one. Okay, we came in through the robotics lab. That's the door we hacked. Let's try going down here. Okay. Workroom, atrium. Cryonics.
Ah! Uh... Oh, great! Just what we need! Hey, wait a second. I recognize that voice. Tally Lang? How do we know Tally Lang? Wormia says, I knew to Twitter. Did the tweets go through? Uh, I think so. I think so, Wormy. Not sure what. Uh, what it, I, I get a lot of tweets, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I got yours. You're that clown that screwed things up for me, at Fort Atlas. You know her. Listen, uh... we're in a bad way here. Cut off from the rest of our people, and the damn robots keep coming in waves. We need help. I thought you were a poor, helpless orphan. Why are you in here with a bunch of blood eagles? Hardy har har. Let's That's get right. serious and make it quick. I can help you and you can help me. That's right. I remember her now. What kind of help are we talking, Tally? I've been trying to get us out of here since we've been locked in. I just found this vault security key card. Should open all the doors in this place. Hey. Help us, and it's yours. Why didn't you just use it to escape? I told you I just found it, dummy. I was about to try it out right when I heard you walk up. What's to stop you shooting us as the, uh, soon as the doors open? I saw what you did to those mercenaries. Nothing. Same as stopping you from shooting us if we let you in. We don't need more trouble. We just want to get out of here. Help us hold off the bots and we'll leave peacefully. For you, anyway. No promises if someone else tries to stop us. Why not just make a run for it once the door is open? I got injured in here. Okay, maybe I'm no sweet little orphan, but... I actually like some of these idiots. I, I don't want to just leave them for dead. Hmm. Come on, come on. I can hear more coming. We got a deal? Whatever Tube says, Ox, when I was playing Fallout 2 the other night and I came across dialogue I never saw before, it was Marcus saying super mutants uh, aware only sterile a couple of years. Anyway, I'm enjoying the stream as I work. Play on, sir. Thanks, Whatever Tube. This was actually addressed by uh, the developers in an interview later because I remember coming across that dialogue in my lore series and the developer said that Marcus was lying. Like he just, like he doesn't know. He was saying that because he wanted to save face in front of the, uh, the chosen one. But they, they really are sterile. It doesn't go away. Well, what do you think Valdez? Valdez? You got someone else out there? <laughs> Should I be jealous? I don't think we've got much choice. We're going to need that key card to bypass the rest of the security doors. All right, Tally. As this is my only option, you've got a deal. Now we're talking. Now give me a sec to get the door open. Good thing Shin's not here. I don't think he'd agree to this. No shooting, boys. They're on our side. Crap, here they come again.
No! I was right about you. Shame we keep meeting under these circumstances. We could get into some real trouble. I'm going someplace. <laughs> Can't believe the Brotherhood bailed us out. Well, a deal's a deal. Key card's yours. A raider honoring a deal? Wow. Well, we could attack and say, actually, I think we've got a few more blood eagles to put down. Are your people okay? Yeah. Banged up, but... With the coast clear, we should be able to get out of here. Hey. I don't say this a lot, but I get a big share, right? I can't believe we just got thanked by a blood eagle. <laughs> I've got some questions, Tally. As always with you. All right, I guess I owe you that much. What's up? I knew you were lying, Tally, but Shit. blood eagles? That's pretty extreme. Job yeah, well, through. turns out you don't know me all that well. I've been running this gang for ages. I like the excitement. Don't act like you've got no blood on your hands. You ain't better than me. What are you doing here, Tally? Duh, we're looting the joint. One of our people trailed those Hellcat idiots back here. A vault's place. gotta be full of good stuff. Guns, bombs, food, and... Okay, this one turned out to be some kind of nightmare freak show, but can't blame us for trying. Uh... I should probably tell you, we had to kill some of your gang getting in here. Yeah, I figured. Them's the breaks. I'm sure they tried to kill you too. You won. It happens. I'm going somewhere. What? Too heartless? You don't lead a gang with feelings, man. I'll be honest. The only ones I actually liked are in here with me anyway. Okay, because she was saying a minute ago that she actually kind of likes the guys around here. Uh, what about your people trapped elsewhere in the vault? Uh, Get out of here. not my problem. Hey, don't look at me like that. We'd be dead if you hadn't shown up. If they're not, they soon will be. I try to get wow. these guys here to mount a rescue, they'll ask me themselves. <laughs> Ass. Get it? <laughs> Ass. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Tally! So funny. Wow, these guys are full of amazing... logic, I guess. Well, let's talk about something Can't else. Can't get enough of me, can you? Alright, give me the key card. We're good. All yours. You got this far, so I'm guessing the way you came is clear. Thanks again. Maybe we won't even shoot you if we see you again. Yeah, better not. No promises. Because you don't want to die, Tally. You get a bigger share, right? You've got interesting friends, Initiate. Hey, don't judge me. What can I help you with, Initiate? What are your thoughts about what we saw in the reactor? It's horrible. Deliberately exposing animals, people, to radiation, electrocuting them. It didn't look like it was meant as torture, though. It must have been to the victims. He was trying to determine something. I just don't know why. I guess we should probably finish exploring. Agreed. After you, Initiate. Christina says, Hey, Ox, currently doubled over with stomach pain, so thankful I found you live. You always help me feel better. Any advice? I mean, it depends on how bad the stomach pain is. I mean, if, if you're bleeding, then that's a pretty serious problem. If it's just indigestion, then uh, that's not too serious. So, yeah, I, I really don't have any advice on stomach pain. 
All right, so we've got lore over here by the bodies. FEV research log number 57. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 57. I begin to doubt my own sanity at times. My efforts, while not without progress, continue to fail to bear real fruit. The FEV seems almost deliberately malignant, as if it had a consciousness and rejects my every attempt to bend it toward a benevolent end. I've come to recognize the signs of imminent metastasis and conversion to the so-called super-mutant state. I am ill-equipped to deal with the product of such failure and have taken to disposing of these unfortunates outside the vault itself. What? I regret that my current methods of disposal may, in the short term, increase the super-mutant population in Appalachia. <laughs> Okay, well, this helps explain the super mutant menace in Appalachia. I mean, we already had West Tech. We already had the poisoned rivers of Huntersville. But that always seemed like a bit of a weak explanation for the sheer number of super mutants that we found without an operation going on. There were so many mutants in the Capital Wasteland because the mutants were bringing people back to their vault to dunk them with FEV. There were so many super mutants in uh, the Commonwealth because the Institute had experimented with FEV. But even when we stood in the stream in Huntersville, we didn't get infected with FEV, so that might not have been a good enough explanation. This solves that. Cool. Now, I, there was a bay. Bay 85, was it? 77. Wow. What a labyrinth. What is that? And why is it floating? Okay. Oh, there's lots of them. That goes back to the reactor chamber. This is the way we came. Gas storage. Workroom. And that's gonna be locked to us. Even though we have the key card now, don't we? All right, and this goes back to Cryonics Bay 1. That's 77. 01. We're looking for 85, aren't we? Reminder supplies. Reminder to myself, when the Hellcat Company next delivers new specimens, I must request that they bring in more chemicals. Supplies are running thin, and I detest inaction. I would venture out myself for this purpose, but my experiments currently running do not permit my absence for any length of time. Clear instructions must be given to overcome the gaps in education and chemical uh, literacy. That is not a mistake. I will repeat. Formic acid... Uh, Dimethyl sulfate, hydrazine, uh, piperidine, 
acrylonite, sodium dodecyl sulfite, two merceptor ethanol, carbon tetrachloride. Well, goodness. Oh. Oh, we got bodies. Fresh bodies. Settlers. Corpse disposal. These vessels were once filled with specimens, stocked here so that captive scientists could turn them into perversions of nature, like West Tech. They concerned themselves only with whether they could do these things, not what benefit they might bring. At best, they made weapons. Such a pointless waste. I have turned what they left behind to better ends. That's Joshua Graham's voice actor. I simply must find a more effective solution to deal with the remains of my unsuccessful trials. It is effective enough to simply release those which begin transforming, but the subjects who die in the process remain a problem. Storing them in a disused portion of the cryogenics lab, or cryonics lab, suffices in preventing decomposition and is concomitant odors from becoming an issue. But even the most materialist of scientists cannot escape the uncanny feeling generated by the close proximity of a large number of human corpses. Durag says those floating rocks may be a key ingredient in FEV? Maybe. Alright, so we could go up. That's sensor lab. Gosh, what have I already explored? I'm getting all turned around. All right, this is where I saw those floating rocks. That's 46. All right, we went around through there. This is on top of the corpse pile. Sensor lab. Julian Z says, Ox, is that really Joshua Graham? Wow, cool. Yeah. I remember um, recognizing it when we streamed Steel Dawn, and then it just uh, hit me again. It's got to be Joshua Graham's voice actor. Two again, so we're just coming back out on the other side. Yeah, that's corpse disposal. Alright. So we need to go over here. To the research wing. Alright, wait a minute. Before we go to the research wing, we saw that note about 85. Wasn't it 85? We found the 90s, we found the 40s, we found the 70s. There's the 90s. the odds. These are the floating crystals. Ooh, what's this? Oh, private bedroom and workshop. I would have missed this. Ok, 
Okay, and that's living quarters A. Now there is something above us. Look at that. Oh! There he is! It's Blackburn! That's the overseer's chamber. Oh, we, we, we're almost there. There's the living quarters A. All right, so back through here. Seventy-seven. Oh six. These these numbering aren't they're not making any sense. Oh one. How do we go? They're completely out of order. These are the forties. Then over here it goes up into the seventies. It must be buried. Must be buried in ice. All right, research wing. Oh my god. The smell. Oh. I regret the ugliness you find here. The things I had to do. They were necessary, but that necessity made them no more pleasant or palatable. Seeing these things, I imagine you must intend to kill me. I do not blame you for this. We're supposed to bring him in alive. Don't forget that. No matter what we've seen here. What's Scared? Could you just chill out, Valdez? Why are you doing this, Valdez? Alright, well next time before you just race off into combat, Valdez, give me a chance to finish exploring where we were so I don't get all turned around. Alright, this is where we came in at. We've got a holotape here. FEV research log tw uh, 112. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number 112. My work's demand for human subjects has increased dramatically. I make ground toward my ultimate goal. To this end, I have contracted with a group of mercenaries calling themselves the Hellcat Company. Trustworthy, if such a term applies here. They display a useful moral flexibility. They do not question the nature of my work or my need for human subjects. And I do not illuminate them. Already they have begun acquiring new subjects at a far greater pace than I could and a contingent remained to guard the vault itself. I must be careful. A mercenary is only as loyal as their pay, after all. My control of the vault security systems keeps them in check. For now, and long. Okay, do I have any food? Oh. OK, 
cadavers everywhere. Utility room one. Oh, what? This goes back to the atrium. There's the overseer. There's the doctor. All right, well, we know where this goes now. that weird noise by those rocks. <laughs> Dirty McCormick says, Ox, you see The Witcher 3 is getting a next-gen update and free DLC inspired by the Netflix show? I uh, know, I didn't hear that, but that sounds really cool. Great news for fans. Biology workstation. Research logs. Molly Cooper, chief biologist. Only five entries out of 970 are retrieved. We can start with version 3, 901, 1002. Uh, specimen species mole rat, experiment objective electrogenesis. The N2 serum was more stable but less effective than N1 with peak current of 10 megavolts at 5 MA. 16 outgoing shocks were recorded, producing startle or reflex reactions but no incapacitating effects. Subjects defeated after four rounds. Recommend fine-tuning serum parameters and selecting subjects with skin characteristics that promote conductivity or allow for better ca uh, capacitive storage. In the next one, Brown Bear Experiment Objective Regeneration. No significant improvement over RK85. Subject exhibits rapid and comprehensive regenerative abilities following penetrative or blunt force trauma. Epithelial damage or a, an extensive blood loss. Limb regeneration is accelerated but subject to undesirable secondary mutations, including the growth of multiple vestigial limbs. Recommend discontinuing further research due to dimini diminishing returns. Gray Wolf pyrogenesis following injection with the serum subcutaneous pyrogenesis was achieved Co complementary heat resistance mutations proved insufficient causing the subject to immolate and self cremate no further autopsy was possible wait Oh yeah, this is also the Grey Wolf, still on pyrogenesis. Following injection, limited pyrogenesis was achieved with no apparent damage to the subject. Results initially appeared disappointing, however, upon death, a violent chemical reaction caused the subject's body to exploit, explode, destroying the remains, its opponent, and most of Test Chamber 3. Recommend reclassifying 209N into a new candidate mutation and pursuing both in parallel. O4. Bloatfly, experiment objective shifting. Results unstable, subject successfully shifted twice as an evasive maneuver. Following the third shift, subject reappeared embedded in the torso of the opposing creature, causing immediate death. Shifting? Autopsy was attempted under hazmat protocols beyond the into integration line. Subject's body appears to have fused with its opponents on a molecular level, creating an indistinguishable mass of flesh. Holy cow. Personal logs. Four recovered out of 81, going all the way back to 102577. 
It's not the quotas that bother me. Awful as this system is, we can do four credits a week, but I can't stomach what we are doing to earn them. We should be protecting these animals, preserving them, not abusing them in one forced experiment after another, and then we stick them in the test chambers, make them fight to see which mutations are stronger. This is horrible. Nina doesn't seem to care. Then 2079. Nina always was a workaholic. I had to plan our dates, get Camille to block her calls while we were out, but she always made time for me. Now? She's in the lab past midnight, every night, always working on some new strain, making sure we have something ready for next week, and the week after that, and the week after that. The quotas keep getting worse. They're over 200 a week now. Most of that burden falls on her. It's killing her. It's killing us. 2080. We got a dog when I was 10. Vera, big Melmute. Danny used to call her Wolf. She looked it, but sweet as could be. 373 looked just like her. Same stripe on her cheek and everything. And then we gave her the injection. Nina's new flaming mutation. She caught fire, burned from the inside out, right there on the operating table. I swear she looked at me right at the end, right before her face melted away. She looked just like Vera. August of 2080. She's dead. I can't believe she's dead. I tried to stop them. I jumped in front of the Assaultron. It threw me down, just blasted her in front of all of us. Her body fell over me. Hans tried to grab her, but I saw it. I saw it. Her head was gone. I can't do this. Not anymore. Not without Nina. Holotape, Vault 96 Biology Log 280. We'll eject it for the subtitles. Molly Cooper Biology Log uh, 280. What is this? The specimen record is blank. No vitals, no measurements, no source data. Just an ID. X001. Whoa! There it is! Cellular structure is unlike anything I've ever seen. I can't even identify the organelles. I ran it through the DNA sequencer twice, but nothing, nothing at all. I talked it over with Nina, and she's going to try splicing it into some of the cellular structures at random, just to see what happens. It's a long shot, but... We have a quota to meet. Fucking vault tech. <laughs> wow. Hey, there's another holotech. FEV research log 13. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number 13. Whatever the prior occupants of this vault may have done, I must thank them. Especially Chief Engineer Dr. Memling. The good doctor while a respectable scientist in his own right, had the classic engineer's idiosyncratic approach to maintenance. His additions to the vault reactor and electrical subsystems provide me with ample points of connection to directly access mains power. Between this and certain defects in reactor shielding, I have invaluable resources for my research. My first attempts in this area are more disappointing, however. Lacking Memling's expertise, my electrical impedance tests failed dramatically. The unintentional discovery of a new method of rapidly cooking a mole rat fails even in that regard. Mole rat exposed to several thousand volts at significant amperage does not make for an appetizing sight. Nonetheless, these results are duly recorded, and I believe my understanding of the system is sufficient to produce more useful results in the future. And long. Imaging lab, but there's still so much for us to discover here. Let's go into the imaging lab. Ooh, we've got a ghoul, a ghoulified settler. Another dead settler. 
Terminal. Research terminal. Computer security override overseer priority Omega. Serum trials. Warning, 137 files have been marked for deletion. Please run garbage collection to free storage capacity displaying active files. We can start with 89C. Serum 89C marks the first improvement over 87A. I had felt so certain that I was on the right track after those results, but the next several iterations were utter failures. 89C at least shows further improvements in radiation and electrical resistance. The FEV fights me like a cornered animal. Every adjustment seems to cause cascading problems in the rest of its effects. I persist. I must prove superior to the puzzle it presents me. 102F. I have rarely gotten to the sixth revision of a particular serum. A line of investigation usually bears fruit or proves a dead end long before. But 102 seems eternally just on the cusp of unlocking its secrets. Revision F marks that point in, it, in this case. The subject demonstrated prolonged retention of identity and cognitive function even as the metamorphosis began. And trials with the second subject evinced a remarkable improvement in physical durability before any gross morpho morphological changes occurred. If I can now isolate the metastasis trigger, which precipitates the transition into the supermutant state, then the goal will be in reach. Stefano says, good evening. It is good to see some cheerful post-apocalyptic Fallout 76 after the depressing events of Amnesia Rebirth. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pretty depressing game. Uh, but this vault is pretty depressing, too, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. All right, so uh, let's try 123D. After the trials of Serum 102F, I believe the problem may lie with the delivery method. Direct injection of the serum resulted in the same metamorphosis as ever, with similar time curves. However, introducing the serum into the food, air, and water supplies of the subject's chamber produced a prolonged offset in transformation, which may explain why the master chose to dip his subjects in FEV instead of injecting them. I hypothesize that introducing the virus directly to the bloodstream creates an immediate immune response that itself is the catalyst for transformation. Passing through the respiratory and digestive systems first, for reasons not yet clear, inhibits this reaction. Further tests necessary. 144H. H. Eight revisions, but each worth it. After the trials of serum 123D, I worked to exploit the respiratory and digestive offset to the immune response the FEV generates with increasing success. I believe with a few more adjustments, I should be able to eliminate the reaction entirely. In anticipation of this, I will turn my focus to the disease resistance effects. I fear these modifications may set back my work, canceling the transformations, and at this stage, it is better to work with an otherwise complete virus than to change one part only to undo another. Personal Logs Error executing purge all dot bat three files right protective or right protected remove right protection to enable deletion of these files. Well, lucky for us, we can read test chambers. Barring the unexpected occupant in chamber three, the test chambers left behind by the vault's occupants provide ample holding room for live subjects. What's in chamber three? Their simulated environments may not be the most welcoming, but perhaps they are at least more comfortable than a bare concrete cell. Although it defeats their purpose, at times I wish the observation windows had shutters. An unfortunate incident. One of the subjects addressed me by name today. I find this unpleasant and distracting. To complete this work, I must be dispassionate. Such things remind me of how I will be viewed in the future even if the work is successful. I must be more careful in the future to not introduce myself to potential subjects. An alias is perhaps pointless now, having already given my name to the Blue Ridge Company on more than one occasion, but I can at least avoid compounding the error. Vivisection. 
Vivisect me, please. I imagine that future genera uh, generations will paint me as a monster even as they enjoy the work of the world my work makes possible. A demented madman slicing sadistically into innocent living subjects. Vivisection is useless to me, of course. I am familiar with the workings of the human body, and I require it undamaged to accurately assess my results. My living subjects have never needed to fear me grotesquely rooting around inside them like some perverse augur. Or augur. Dissection, on the other hand, has its value in the aftermath of my trials, and there are many tests I must conduct that require needles, probes, and other monitoring measure and measuring devices but never vivisection. I wonder if they put that in as a direct reference to the Old World Blues DLC for Fallout New Vegas. Garrett Horsch says, Thoughts on 76's winter content? Exciting. I'm really looking forward to the pit. And then Toxic Sean says, Hey, Oxhorn, Fallout games are so at home on your channel. It's great to see you playing some more Fallout. Good morning, Oxhorn. Good morning, Toxic Sean. As always, wonderful to see you. We've got another hollow tape. This is FEV research log number five. We'll eject it so that we can see the um, number five. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number five. The creators of the forced evolutionary virus were idiot savant. They saw weapons, soldiers to win a war that would end almost as soon as it began. They had discovered a means by which we could seize the reins of human evolution, and all they could envision was more efficient death. My colleagues at West Tech were likewise fools. They made the virus a plaything in Huntersville, their ant farm, no! shaking it to watch them scurry. The FEV was never meant to create abominations. At its core is something wondrous and hopeful. I will free it from what they made of it. Humanity will have the future it should have had. A better human will build that world, free from fear and law. But the ends does not justify the means, Blackburn. All right, so I got a couple of unstable server not responsive errors pop up, but I'm still streaming live, so it's not my internet connection. God, I hope this game doesn't crash on me, and I have to do all of this over. Bad sign, the holotape is still playing. No. No, Bethesda, please. There we go. Okay, it stopped. Maybe that means that the system recovered. All right, so then this is the room we came through. No! Server not responding. Controls have been temporarily disabled. Oh, God. It's going to crash, guys. It's going to crash. Please don't crash, server. Please don't crash. Requires terminal. Sliding door. There's the viewing chambers. What was in number three? This is this is C4. Utility tunnels. There was something Somebody in get three. Us out of here. What? Test chamber three. Can we go home now? Test chamber three is open. Garrett says, I was referring to the aliens and the interloper. Well, anything concerning I just the- I want to forget about all this. Anything concerning the interloper is fascinating to me. All right, so the door to three is open and we fought a Snallygaster, so it must have been the Snallygaster that was in number three. Utility tunnel it requires terminal. All right, so Peterson and the other voice. Please be quiet, Ashmore. Sorry, I know you've been through a lot. The doctor, he's insane. Things she did to us. Test chamber two. You're not with those others, are you? Can you get us out of here? It's Cassie. Is he coming back? Who are you? Cassie. Cassie Alloway. L listen, I ain't trying to be rude. I'll tell you my whole dang life story if you want. Just get me out of here first. Is everybody all right in there? Oh, we're locked in some weird cell, in a frozen vault, being held prisoner by some lunatic in a lab coat who experiments on us. We're Peachy. How are you? 
please don't let him take me again. Do you know how we can open the cell door? Uh, not exactly. I think the locks are controlled remotely. The doctor guy always does something back behind the oh, stairs there goodness. before he comes back to grab one of us for his tests. I feel sick. Sit tight. I'll get you out of there. Okay. I was going to go for a walk, but I guess I'll stay here for now. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously, though. Forget about all this. Thank you. Love that sarcasm, Cassie. All right, so something behind the stairs. Unlock the test chamber behind the stairs. Is he coming back? Oh my God, so many dead bodies just lying around here. I can't take it anymore. Staging. Snallygaster. Unbelievable. They left a Snallygaster inside one of the test chambers. Remarkably, it's still alive, if understandably quite irritable. Whatever they did to it seems to have removed its need for sustenance. Perhaps it metabolizes trace elements directly from the air or engages in some strange form of photosynthesis. Regardless, that chamber shall remain locked, and I must take care when defrosting the other specimens in cryo storage. I cannot predict what mutations they may exhibit. All right, so that confirms what was in cell number three. Utility tunnel. Requires terminal. All right. All right, so we need to unlock the test chambers over there. I just want to make sure that I got everything up here. Holy cow, there's just so much to explore. And it's just a maze of terminals and catwalks. Yeah, you hear that noise? It's only when I'm next to these floating stones. All right, so that's the terminal we need to go to. That leads back to the atrium. Can we unlock it? Yeah. Right. And we actually already uh, read this terminal. But we find a new entry. Test chamber access. Well, they were in four. But I kind of want to find out what was in all of them. We could seal all of the test chambers. That would seal three back up. Let's unlock them all. That's a door breach detected. Okay. Oh, they're in two. 
It was a nightmare. A waking nightmare. Before we open up two, let's go into one. Toxic Sean says, been watching the X-Files. That stone sound effect, oh my god. Is that a reference to the X-Files? All right, why do they have a little shack in test chamber one? With a wood pile, what is this? This is a very odd thing to have in a test chamber. Julian Z says, Ox, did you get the holotapes on the consoles in front of the glass of the test chambers? You know where the people are. Uh, I don't know, did I? I just want to forget about all this. Nope. Vault 96 is genetics log 142. Genetic research log week 142. Specimen X001 has been a most remarkable success. I confess, I was skeptical when Molly showed me her analysis. There was little to work with, given its uh, unique biology. Please, don't let him take me As an initial bench test, I spliced each of our extant stable mutations into separate samples. They all worked flawlessly, as if we had spent months adapting them. And then the mutations uh, spread. They somehow shifted from one sealed petri dish to the next until all the samples exhibited all of the mutations. Fascinating. I wanted to proceed to live subject testing immediately, but all of our attempts to resuscitate a specimen have been blocked. Hans is looking into it. In the meantime, this transference capability merits further investigation. Genetic log week uh, 148, one, 148. There is little progress to report. Too little. The shifting mutation is still unstable. When stressed, subjects will shift or, or phase or, or whatever it is. It works, but it's inconsistent, uncontrollable. Without some understanding of the underlying physics or, or biology, there is little I can do to stabilize or improve on it. If I could study the original specimen, perhaps I could make some progress. But there is apparently only one subject in a secured cryonics bay with military access controls. I've no doubt Eric could get in, but he has refused. I have put everything into this research. I'm out of time. I will not make my quota. Oh, forgive me, Molly. Whoops. Well, I wonder if the we'll doctor. get in. He's insane. I think that's all the holotapes. Let's go back this to exploring chamber to one. Ah, that opens this back tunnel. I see. Okay, so that was one. We'll save two for last. Let's go to three. Everything hurts. I feel sick. This is where they kept the Snallygaster. What? How does that still require terminal? Chamber four. Uh, floating scalpel. There we go.
cryogenic swing. Oh, utility tunnel. This brings us back to the entrance. Okay. That's, that goes in, okay, so that's where the door in test chamber three would have led. It would have led out here. And that's test chamber two. Doctor, he's insane. I thought we were gonna die in there. You've got my thanks, stranger. Introductions are in order, I guess. My name's Cassie. Did I say that already? You're Cassie Holloway, Art Knapp's now? niece? Yeah, that's me. You know Uncle Art? God, he's gotta be so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world weary. <sighs> I hope he's all right. I want to get that dialogue again because somebody uh, else now. talked over it. Yeah, that's me. You know Uncle Art? God, he's got me so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world weary. <sighs> I hope he's all right. Are you hurt? Don't let him take me again. I'm not injured. Got lucky. The doc didn't do any surgery on me. That nut job was dosing me with diseases, though. Said he was testing incubation and immune response times. Uh -oh. Weird thing is, he kept apologizing. Bad case of sludge long now. <clears throat> but I'm, <coughs> I'm holding up. He did to us. Some of the others are in worse shape. It was a nightmare. A waking nightmare. We can offer her a disease cure. Take this. It should help with the it. sludge lung. For real? You must be my guardian angel. Well, well, I did get kidnapped and doctor, locked up by a mad scientist, so insane. maybe not. But still, thank you. You get to miss and breathe normally. Are there any more prisoners? I think we're the last surviving ones. It used to be more. When he takes you out of the cells, you don't always come back. Hasn't been nightmare. down here in a few days, though. Figured he got what he wanted, or Nobody someone done him in. Here. Good timing on your part. Crappy rations he gave us last time are nearly gone. Can I ask you something else? My social calendar is wide open, as it happens. I feel so why do you want to know? Don't let me die in here. Uh, we're with the Brotherhood of Steel. This is Scribe Valdez. Now that sounds like a fun bunch. Uncle Art mentioned them in... Uh, Broad I can't terms. take it anymore. Can't say I'm not glad to meet you, though. How'd you end up here? Came in on a Blue Ridge caravan. Doc was there, too. Had some people slip away Please. in the night, but... Help guide us. said it happens. People turn back, that kind of thing. Then one night we shelter from a storm, and... Those Hellcat goons ambush us. Capture us all. Spent days in a cart or something. Blindfolded. Before they dumped me here. I can't take it anymore. That explains the card outside. Also a Skyrim reference. Well, I'm a captive audience. Too don't soon? Die in here. And what do you want to know? Well, uh, can you make it out of here? Maybe I could, but <laughs> there's no way the rest will. I don't even know where we are, but <clears throat> I'm guessing we're not close to civilization. These folks won't make it a mile in their condition. The things he did to us. It's better if they stay here. When we've cleared the vault, Please. I'll radio Fort Atlas. They can send the medics with the recovery team and get them to safety. Whatever Fort Atlas is, that sounds good to me. Thanks kindly. I'll leave some food and water for you to share until help arrives. You're a peach. Is he coming? All right, Cassie, all of you sit tight. Help is on the way soon. We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if 
if you run into that crazy doctor, give him a kick for me. Alright? Sounds good. I'll give him a kick. I, is it over? C can we go home? Oh God. You Please you just don't rescue hurt me. us. Everything Crassie looked down for us. Guys, just won't stop really talking. We'll meet again. Thank you for setting us free. The doctor. He's insane. After this, I'm done with caravans. All right, well, we found the captives. Now we need to confront the overseer. I, I just want to forget about all this. I want to find out where that experimental organism was, which is probably an alien. X001? Shouldn't we have found pod 85 or section 85, which would have... Oh, that's what those windows are. Utility room. to the research wing, we can open that. And we came out the utility room. All right, all of that is unlocked to us now. So, well, that just leaves the overseer's office. It may be in a future quest, says Mila, maybe, but she, after going on and on about it, you'd think they would have, uh, they would have put it in there. They even told us exactly where to find it, though I don't know if we had the ability to find it. Durag says, I think I saw more hollow tapes in front of the windows. In front of those windows. Oh, you mean the ones back in uh, chemistry lab? In front of these windows. And I'm pretty sure I got everything in the research lab. I, I scoured this really well. But I'll give it a one, uh, I'll give it one more thorough walkthrough since now we have the car for the entire, uh, the card for the entire place. Just to make sure we got everything before moving on to the overseer's office. Ninety-one, ninety-two. Phil says you found everything. All right. Yeah, I think I probably did. Alright, that's reactor monitoring. Let's open up all the rest of the doors. We already did living quarters and cafeteria. That's research with more living quarters. No other doors to open here.
fluid handling. Well, we can't open that because it's frozen solid. Not much we can do there. Okay, overseer's office. That's gonna be a no, buddy. The card doesn't work? Blackbird must have overridden the door codes. Probably guess the looters might find a key card eventually if they had the run of the place. Yeah, that's what we read in his uh, note that we found. Can you do anything? From here? If I had more tools, time, and some schematics, sure. Under the circumstances, we'll have to get creative. Dynamite! These doors? Are hydraulically sealed. If we can find the lines that feed to this door, we might be able to cut the pressure holding it shut. Look for a utility room nearby. Okay. Garrett says, Ox, it's possible the organism is in the world. It's quite possible, but I was actually really trying to find the uh, room that it was held in. They took great pains to explain exactly where it would be. Even giving us the number of the pod that it was behind and explaining what the room looked like so you'd think we'd be able to find it, but... No. Alright, utility room! It's right there. This should be it. Take a look. See if you could find the lines to the overseer's office. What? Oh, look at these guys. Photo op. So a chef with turpentine, a, a, a teddy bear wearing a suit, and a teddy bear wearing a suit while holding a blowtorch? Is this like a reference to a movie or something? Men in black, maybe? This panel connects to an array of pipes and appears to control hydraulic lines within the vault. You can see which line connects to the overseer's door, but you still need to figure out how to disable it. We could pass a strength check to use raw force to put a crimp in the hydraulic line. We could pass an intelligence check to identify and close the correct valve. We could use a bladed weapon to cut the hydraulic line to the door, or we could smash the controls and hope. <laughs> let's try, um, let's try doing as little damage as possible and passing an intelligence check to identify and close the correct va uh, valve. You puzzle over the bewildering array of controls before you. Somewhere here there must be a button or a lever or something that would do the trick, but after several minutes you have to admit you have no idea how this thing works. Well, then we can try using a bladed weapon to cut the hydraulic line to the door. That'll drop the pressure, all right. Okay, the door should be open. Let's go. The hydraulic lines are no match for our blade, and a quick chop sends a gush of hydraulic fluid bursting forth, immediately lowering the pressure. I'm coming, Blackburn. Hope you're ready.
It appears neither the vault defenses nor the blood eagles were a match for you. Quite formidable. You can lower your weapons. It would clearly be futile for me to struggle, and I surrender willingly. Oh, please don't server crash right now. I got a couple of server unresponsive messages. Lots of options here. You're a monster! I should kill you where you stand! Even if I'm impressed by what you've tried to do here, you must know you've gone too far. Is this the research you told me about? This, this is studying diseases? Let's try this one. Contrary to what you may think, I did not lie to you when we spoke at Fort Atlas. I did say it would be difficult for a layperson to understand. I've seen what FEV does. How could you think it could help anyone? FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater and better. Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. Listening to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. You claim to be doing this for the good of humanity, but you've created more super mutants. This is true. I wish it could have been avoided. It was easier and safer, for myself if not for others, to release those failures before their metamorphosis was complete. I had work to finish. And I knew the Brotherhood was ah. out there to deal with the errors. Leave it up to us. We'll clean up your mess. Your errors tunneled into Fort Atlas and could have killed everyone! Is that so? It seems my failures were indeed steps on the road to success. That level of coordination suggests an increase in cognitive development over the typical example. Still, I bear the Brotherhood no ill will. My apologies for that. Jared says, looks like uh, that teddy bear is about to be fired, lol. Yep, you must have served them uh, a bad meal or something. Brian Sanchez says, Witcher 3 is getting a free DLC based on the Witcher TV show with the next-gen update later this year. I sent you the details on Twitter, Ox. SC attempt, super chat attempt number two. Oh, sorry for, uh, for missing a previous one. Uh, thank you for that one, Brian. It looks really interesting. We need to know everything you've done. I am sure your Brotherhood will happily interrogate me until I have no tale left to tell. I will be entirely forthcoming, though I expect you will want to conduct your Inquisition within confines more amenable to the Brotherhood. As for the contents of this vault, the Brotherhood is free to collect anything they like. My work here is finished. I don't like the sound of that. What makes you think you've succeeded here? All I've seen are horrors. Do you believe I did this all blindly? Groping madly in the bodies of the innocent for some unknown and hallucinatory secret? With each iteration, each test conducted, I identified flaws in the virus and calculated their removal. I have no doubt in my work. It sounds like you haven't actually tested your perfect virus. There are... Um, steps being taken. As we speak, any miscalculations that might exist are minor and will be addressed shortly. How can you justify this insanity? What you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes or consigns me to whatever hell may exist is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. Maybe you can explain exactly how you think you've saved the world, buddy. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. I have no doubt that you do, as you wish.
Interesting. I'm really tempted to uh, say, you're a monster, I should cure you, kill you where you stand, if only to see what the options are, but I fear that will block me down a dialogue path that I don't want to go down. Ozzy Finn says, it sounds like Joshua Graham. Yeah, I think it's Joshua Graham's voice actor. We're taking you in, Blackburn. You have to pay for what you've done here. Yes, I assumed as much when you entered. Very well. Consider me arrested, if you must. I am ready to face any judgment the Brotherhood wishes to mete out. My work here is complete regardless, and it is too late for you to stop it. Your work cannot be stopped? What do you mean? Simply that I have achieved my goal. The FEV is perfected, and it is too late for you to change that. My sacrifices, the terrible things I have done to accomplish this, it has been paid in full, and now salvation awaits humanity. What? You can't do anything with it now. We've caught you. You're finished. Have I given you any reason to believe I have not already taken the necessary action? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> what have you done with the FEV? I have completed it. I turned a flawed miscreation into something that will heal an ill and wounded humanity. But if by that you mean, what have I done with the result? It is no longer here. I have... associates. They are even now finalizing the mechanisms of its distribution. You are too late. Whoops. Paladin Romani guess. needs to hear about this immediately. Let me guess, he's got some sort of uh, mutant co-conspirators now. Maybe some of them were came out intelligent and he's been using them. I can't believe I let you back at uh, let you go back at Fort Atlas. Let me go. Had I committed any offense of which you could possibly have been aware? They were people, Blackburn, like Cassie. You tortured them and experimented on them like animals. Do you think I'd take any pleasure or pride in that fact? Think what you will, but I am not inhuman. Had I been capable of accomplishing my goal without them, I would have done so. I am neither a sadist nor a homicidal maniac. I do not expect forgiveness, but I am certain what I have done will bear sufficient consequence without fabricating new sins to hang upon me. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's see if there are any more dialogue options we can explore by saying you'll answer for your crimes, Blackburn, but first I need to know something else. Ah, yes. The interrogation before my interrogations continues. Go on. Let's see what happens if we say you're a monster. I should kill you where you stand. And yet you will not, will you? The Brotherhood is an iron fist when enforcing its mission. But you did not come all this way simply to put a bullet in my skull. Besides, my death can no longer stop my work. And that's it. Yes, I assume. Consider me a rest. My work here is... Uh... All right, well, I think we are done here. I am at your disposal, then. You can head out. I'll radio for a team to secure the site and get the prisoners to safety. Then bring Blackburn back to the fort. I'm sure the others are going to have a lot of questions for him. Good work, Initiate. I'm glad you were here. Okay. Think of me what you will. It will change nothing. A satisfied conscience. Plan Blackburn's bungalow? Quest started the catalyst. Dr. Blackburn's final experiment must be put to an end. What is Blackburn's bungalow? I have said enough at present. I am sure your officers will have plenty to ask of me when I am in custody at your headquarters. Get a hold of yourself. Bastard. Nina's dead. 
again. Eric, dead. All because of your damn quotes. If you can't show a little compassion, shut the hell up. Hey, now. I regret what happened to Nina. I truly do. But we're wasting time. What? There, that should disable the sensors. Now listen carefully. They aren't my quotas. They never have been. Except by the mainframe. Look, here are next week's numbers. God. There's... there's no way. Why didn't you tell us? It's on a hair trigger. If it detects anything, any word of conspiracy or sedition, it will kill us. I had to be sure. The only way we survive the next week is to take it out. You want us to fight our way out? We don't have to. For the past two years, I've been working on a virus. Seraph. Upload it into the mainframe and it can take over. Shut down the system, the experiments, everything. It can let us out. The EMS? Won't be a problem. I designed that system. My students wrote the damn protocols. I can beat it. We can't go on like this. I'm... I'm in. For Nina. Jeanette? Hans? I... All right. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Sure. Here's what I need from you. We move on Saturday, just before the quarter check. Be ready. Sensor discrepancy detected in the overseer's office. Applying cancellation algorithm. Done. Have a good week, everyone. Dismissed. And it was his own hubris that was his undoing. It was that second experiment that one of his students programmed into the vault. The anti-computer virus program, the one that he gave her an F on, the one that he dismissed because it was too convoluted. It defeated his program. The one that he wanted to use to take down the vault mainframe. And he thought he could get past everything. Wendigo teeth? Why are there Wendigo teeth in the Overseer's office? Good work in here, Initiate. All right, Overseer Eric DeMarcos, Vault 96 official documents. Vault 96 protocol. We already read this, didn't we? I'll be fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. She's going to say that over and over again, isn't she? Protocol addendum. We read that, but what we have not yet read are the Vault 96 Overseer instructions. Greetings, the Overseer. Team as, be on their way. as you now know, the protocols for Vault 96 differ from those presented in your introductory briefing. This deception was necessary in order to secure the cooperation of the specialists required to complete the Vault's research objectives. As Overseer... You should be getting back to Fort Atlas, Initiate. Shut up. As Overseer, your primary responsibility is to distribute weekly research quotas, track progress, and ensure results. Quotas will become increasingly aggressive and will require that your team be kept properly focused and motivated. To that end, you, you may direct... You should be getting back to Fort Atlas, Initiate. Do they even play the game after they make it? Do things like that not drive them crazy? It's just a little minor thing like that. To that end, you may direct vault robots in instituting whatever security or disciplinary measures you deem appropriate, including... Good work in here, Initiate. Including withdrawal of food or other resources, intimidation, violence, or execution. All residents will be strictly monitored. Any attempt to conspire against, resist, or disrupt these protocols will result in termination. Once I'll be all fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. Once all other residents have been terminated, if at least 250 weeks of research were successfully completed, you and you alone will be permitted to exit the vault. That's why he did it.
The recovery team should be on their way. He could have in implemented any punishment for failing to meet a quota that he wanted, not just death. Death was only one of the possible options that vault had given him. Others included Good intimidation, violence, restricting food rations, but no, he chose death. He chose that Nina be executed for failing to meet her quota. He needed her executed. He needed the other vault residents executed after 250 days. The recovery team should be on their way. So that he could leave. Only with their deaths could he leave the vault. Cryogenics Bay 86. No Name you says- be getting back to Fort Atlas, initiate. Oh God. No Name says you'd think these people would want more confidentiality and wouldn't record all of their conversations. Should have learned a thing or two from Nixon. Yeah, you'd think they would have learned after Nixon, but now, uh, maybe, maybe to be fair, many of these uh, recordings we recover were here. automatically Report recorded. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. Eric the Red says, Vault Tech Ethics strikes again. Uh, under no circumstances is any resident of Vault 96 to tamper with, disable, remove, or destroy the security seals on Cryogenics Bay 86. The recovery 86. should be on their way. Any attempt to do so will result in the immediate termination of all life within the vault. Automated research systems may be used to retrieve genetic samples from this bay as required. Samples should be considered extremely hazardous and handled with all possible caution. Cryogenics Bay 86. Can we not find you that? You should be getting back to Fort Atlas, Initiate. Research quotas, August 2080. Uh, weekly research quotas for the month of August are as follows. 524, 540, 568, 590. Here, initiate. They keep getting higher because they kept having to do more and more work. Personnel records. I'll be fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. It's time to return to Fort Atlas, Oxhorn, says Urtai. Ash of the Fallen says, I'll be fine here. Report back to Fort Atlas when you can. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you got my back here, guys. I'm glad you're sympathizing with me, fellas. Good work in here, Initiate. They're going to drive me crazy. We still have so much to read on this stinking terminal. All right, personnel records for Molly Cooper. Education, PhD in microbiology, prior occupation, researcher at Chromax Genetics, chief biologist. I'll notes. be fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. Researcher, Chromax Genetics, uh, genetics to, uh, 2076 to present, co-author, co four papers, analytical microbiology, bright, timid, anxious, emotionally vulnerable. Inclusion, a condition of Mrs. Vallejo's acceptance, undisclosed You should be getting back possible. to Fort Atlas, initiate. Eric DeMarcos. Education, PhD, computer science, prior occupation, senior professor, Vault Tech University, Vault Occupation, overseer, chief software developer. Notes, professor of computer science, Vault Tech University. The recovery team should be on their way. 2062 to present, Dean of Computer Science, Vault Tech University, 2070 to 2074, Federal Security Clearance Secret, Vault Tech Security Clearance, Class 2, Developer Vault Tech Emergency Management System, noted as strict, critical, and a tough administrator. You should be getting back to Fort Atlas, Initiate. Oh, Jeanette Higgins, PhD Robotics. Prior occupation, senior engineer Robco, vault occupation, chief robotics technician. Notes, senior developer Robco, a Soltron line. Wow. Senior engineer Robco, 2074 to Good the present. Good work in here, initiate. Engineer Robco, 2068 to 2074, lecturer, Department of, the, of Robotics, Commonwealth Institute of Technology. 2064 to 2068. Wow, so this guy was at CIT. References indicate a volatile, confrontational personality. Disciplinary complaints on file. The recovery team should be on their way. Julian Z says, Ox, why not go into settings and mute all voices in volume? I, I might have to do that. Um, no Name says, good work in here, Initiate. Thank you, No Name. I might just have to mute all volume. Oh, wait, I can do this. 
I'll be fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. Just, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hans Memling, education, PhD, nuclear and cryonic engineering, prior occupation, Professor Emeritus Hamilton Yu, vault occupation, chief engineer. Notes Professor Emeritus Hamilton Yu. I'll be Yu. fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. 2075 to present. Distinguished Professor Hamilton Yu, 2068 to 2075. CTO, Arc Jet Systems, 2063 to 2068. Principal author, 112 papers, quantum nuclear and cryogenic engineering. Polymath, eccentric. Good work in here, Initiate. Highly regarded by col colleagues. He was the chief technical uh, techn technology officer at Arc Jet. Which we remember from Fallout 4. Wow. All right, Nina, PhD the genetics. Team should be on their way. PhD biology, prior occupation, founder, Chromax Genetics, Vault Occupation, Chief Researcher. Notes, founder and principal investigator, Chromax Genetics 2071 to present, researcher, West Tech 2067 to 2071, scientist. You should be getting back to Fort Atlas, initiate. Eresa Polytechnic, 2065 to 2067, expelled. Principal author, 55 papers, cross-species genetics, brilliant scientist, flexible ethical standards. <laughs> okay, the one more personal log. On but we've only got eight from uh, 10, 24, 77. I had faith in vault -Tec. 15 years at vault -Tec University. A key role in the vault program, a comfortable role you as an overseer, back to Fort undemanding, initiate. with ample free time to work on my own projects. Didn't seem like too much to ask. Instead, this. Perhaps I was naive. In retrospect, some of the EMS protocols do seem suspicious. Fires, flooding, reactor meltdowns, of I'll course. I'll be fine here. Report back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. But vault infested by giant mutant insects? Premature psychoactive chemical release? Subliminal messaging system failure? Horrific as this is, we might not be the worst off. Wow. Good work in here, Initiate. Accessing encrypted file system, encrypted logs. Oh, we got more personal logs. Let's start. 102777. Vince M says I think I'll you should be, be getting here. back to Fort Report Atlas. Back to the Paladin in the night as soon as you can. It's worse than I expected. Four bugging devices in this office alone and multiple remote access on my first log entry. It's the mainframe. Probably audio transcription plus a semantic analysis. I've set up an encrypted partition Good on work this in terminal. Here, but I need to be careful. One fake log entry a week should be enough to defray suspicion. One week down. Once they settled in, Nina and Molly met the first week's quota in under an hour. Hans is running everything else single-handedly. You single should be getting back to Fort Atlas, Initiate. He fixed a reactor leak before the EMS even engaged. Jeanette still won't speak to me. That's it. I gotta turn this off. There we go. One of the Seraph tapes was at the bottom of my bag. It was still in prototype. I've got almost nothing to work with. A few snippets of code, one old workstation, but in theory, if it worked, it could take out the mainframe. It could get us out of here. This is going to take months or years. I can't tell anyone. One slip and the mainframe will kill us. We only get one shot at this. We have to make it count. They're suspicious. I show up at the weekly kickoff, hand out their quotas, and head back upstairs. I don't socialize. I don't have time. Not if I'm ever going to get this done. I've almost finished the network penetration algorithm. After that, it's onto the payload. Just compiling the modules take days. Joe M says the recovery team should be on their way. Thank you, Joe M. <sighs> Nina missed her quota. I didn't even realize she was behind until Jeanette stormed in and demanded to know why I wasn't helping down in the lab. I tried running some simulations under her login, but it was too late. She knew it. We all did. I'm so close. It's too late for her, but not for the rest of us. 
My old password still worked. Accessing the EMS database was another risk, but we needed a plan to deal with every protocol, a counter for every contingency. For once, I actually appreciate my students. If they had been more diligent, finding flaws to exploit might have been difficult. They're ready. Seraph's ready. It's time. And in the end, the irony is that it was his students' diligence that defeated him, that thwarted them, that doomed them all. The recovery team should be on their way. Executive summary for Project Seraph. Client U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency contractor vault -Tec Corporation, Principal Eric DeMarcos, classification Secret Star, codename Project Seraph. Executive summary. Seraph is an experimental class 4 hypergenetic virus intended to penetrate high security defense and intelligence mainframes. Seraph is to aggressively seize and expand control over network infrastructure, utilizing advanced adaptive AI to counter attempts to neutralize the infection. After establishing dominance over the target system, Seraph will deliver a customized target specific software payload. Did he make it out? The recovery team should be on their way. I don't remember. We've listened to so many holotapes and read so many terminals that it's all a blur. I'm going to have to go through all of this off the air just to piece the pieces together. FEV research log 148. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number 148. I can feel the end approaching. The equations fall into place, and I can see the shape of it. The perfected FEV. Even in my restless dreams, that vision of the goal is the only succor now. What I have done to reach it can never be washed away. I have been right, but that is small comfort. I give them numbers now, and try not to listen when they speak to me, pleading. I prefer to sedate them when removing them from their holding cells. Unconscious, they cannot weep or stare accusingly at me. I cannot make them understand that we are alike part of a greater destiny. They think me inhuman, uncaring. I know I would be no different were our roles reversed. I do not blame them for hating me. I lie in my cot at night and see their faces. I remember them all, and wait for sleep to carry me to the visions of when I can finally stop. Final candidate number three is ready for verification. I am within two, perhaps three iterations of success. Will I be able to sleep untroubled when this is over? Or will punishment for what I have done be a mercy, freeing me from its memory and log? Well, he had a conscience. He tortured himself with what he did. Because he genuinely and truly thought that he was doing what had to be done. That he was doing what was right. There is nothing left for you here. I am certain your paladin and knight will extract any information they need once I am under guard at your fort. Huntersville Memories! Personal log. Dr. Edgar Blackburn, Huntersville. I should never have allowed Dumont to convince me to stay with West Tech when they shuttered the Greenhouse Initiative. The Panimmunity variant was intended to shield us from biological warfare and make the population safe from the horrors war could unleash. The Greenhouse Initiative turned the same work to feeding the ever-increasing starving masses. Noble goals and worthy science. The discovery of the FEV abandoned all that. The awesome potential of the virus, what it could do if harnessed to those same ends, ignored. Instead, they saw a weapon. Super soldiers. Small-minded bureaucrats and their pet scientists had the keys to human evolution and saw only profit in war. Dr. Khan, a disgrace to that title, took over. And even those miserable goals were cast aside in favor of the perverse. Infecting the water supply of Huntersville just to observe the effects? Why? 
We knew the virus in its current state produced horrors. Had we been looking for a cure, perhaps it could have been justified. But Khan had no such interest. He did it because he could. Were I a better man, a better scientist, I would have left immediately. My belated resignation does me little credit and long. Wow. So this isn't overriding the um, the super mutant lore of Huntersville. It's adding to it. So he perfected FEV. Perhaps the FEV that he perfected uh, is to do what the Pan Immunity Virion Project was supposed to do, to make humanity uh, immune uh, to biological warfare from China. So exactly what has he made? Where did he send it? Who has it now? How does he plan to deliver it? And we've got another holotape. I've said enough at present. I'm sure your officers will have plenty to ask of me when I'm in custody at your Okay, stop talking. FEV research log number one. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number one. Under any other circumstance, it would feel foolish to begin recording these before my work has even meaningfully begun. I developed this habit during my graduate studies. A tool helping me as much to retain my insights as to preserve my failures. Here, when nothing about what I am to undertake is normal, I break with tradition and start these logs now. Posterity requires this moment be kept. What I am about to do will almost assuredly make of me a villain in the eyes of many. My work is distasteful and must be conducted in secret. Here, for whatever person may one day hear this. I say for the record that what I will do, I do out of love. An unselfish love that knows no rest. Not for a person. No cliched deceased spouse or lost child motivates me. Humanity is my love. Though none would accuse me of excess sentiment. We are a species tormented by the ravages of the Great War, reduced to vermin, eking out an existence in the rubble of the world that was. The mistakes of my past are writ on the face of every survivor, living in fear of the mutated horrors that stalk the wasteland. I can correct this. I must. We are not meant to live like this. There is a way forward to free us from the horrors we, I, created. Yet I fear the failures that lie between me and the future I see. They will be many, and they will cause a great deal of pain before I am done. The sins of West Tech must be undone. The price will be extreme, but it must be paid. If my life is included in that price, I will pay it gladly. I record this log not to seek forgiveness. I neither deserve nor require it. I ask only that you, my hypothetical listener, know that the things to come are not the product of ill intent or a sadistic mania. One day, good will come of the evil I am set to do. I hope that you are there to see it and understand and long. Your flaw is that you can't predict the future. But he thinks he can. Good will come of this evil I intend to do. He doesn't know that. He may have the world's best intentions. He may genuinely think that he's this awesome guy and he hates to do these bad things. And they're, you know, hating him. It's reasonable. Everyone should hate him. But it, were, it was his motives that were truly good. And, you know, what he's going to do is amazing. And it's going to save the world. But he can't predict the future. He can predict his own actions. He can predict whether or not he's going to murder somebody and kidnap somebody to experiment on them and torture them. He can predict that, and he can prevent that, but he can't predict what his research will ultimately lead to. And yet he thought he could, and he still thinks he can. And by the way, did you catch that Fallout 4 reference? <laughs> when he said a cliché... Um, motive involving a dead spouse and a missing child. <laughs> I just about lost it there. That's like, that's that's the plot of Fallout 4, and he's sitting there mocking it in Fallout 76. That's hilarious. 
Ah, uh, wow, that was a that was a good joke and a good inside joke there, Bethesda. Way to pick on yourselves for that one. All right. Uh, well, let's see. Is there anything there else? Holy in. cow! I am certain your paladin and knight will extract any information they need. I'll be fine here. Just report back to the paladin and the, the knight. Both as soon as you of you can. can just shut it. Well, I mean, I think we got it all. I think we got all of the lore. We killed all the enemies. We got through it and we still have over 300 rounds of electromagnetic uh, cartridges. The one thing, the only thing that I feel like I'm missing from this vault is experiment X001 in wing 86. Is that not here? Why do we hear about it all over the vault? In every other terminal, in every other holotape, they talk about experiment X006 or 001, and they talk about the secret research lab in wing 86. And yet when we get to the research wing, not only do we not find cryopod 86, we don't find any research wing 86. Am I just missing something? The doctor, he's insane. R4, this isn't 86, I mean, that was the Snallygaster, no Novocaine, that, that was not the Snallygaster. They talked about the Snallygaster, in a com well, the, the doctor talked about the Snallygaster, and they put that in C, uh, test chamber back? three, in here, right? C3, test chamber three, this isn't 86, this isn't X001. So there's something else here that we have not found. Julian Z says, Ox, you think it might be behind some ice frozen shut? I mean, that's the only thing we we can think. If we can't find it, then it's got to be locked away and frozen to us. And yet so frustrating that they would mention it, that they would dangle that carrot in front of our faces and then not give us the big payoff. Well, I'm not gonna waste any more time looking for it. We've completed this vault. We've got the doctor. We found the, the captives. Let's go back to Port Atlas and tell them what we've learned. Also, there was that key ring. Remember I found that keys? What were those keys for? We didn't find a a box that needed to be opened with those keys. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have to come back here after the broadcast and just spend another four hours walking around seeing if I can figure this all out. <coughs> Remember we found that ring of keys. But nothing to unlock the, uh, with the ring of keys. Right. That was three hours and 40 minutes, by the way. Vault 96 took me three hours and 40 minutes to explore. Holy cow. <clears throat> what was that? Jared says, uh, good work, Initiate. Report back to Fort Atlas as soon as you can. Thank you, Jared. Uh, Double O Panda says, thank you for the amazing content. I subbed not long ago, and I find your voice very soothing. Anyways, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Double O Panda. I stream four times a week, and I've got many more Fallout videos to come. Well, what an interesting vault. And I walk away with so many more questions. 
But we got what we came for. Let's head back to Fort Atlas and tell them what we know. Pac-Man says the final mission is pretty short. So much to teach us. But it's not 20 minutes short, is it? I'm gonna have to stop in about 20 minutes. That's the end of my broadcast time. And we'll have to finish everything else uh, maybe next week. I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but I wanted something more than just a set. Okay, report to Brotherhood Leadership. He's got his gun drawn. Why? I have been fully compliant with your questioning. Threats are not required. With everything you've done, you're lucky I'm only threatening you right now. Please, this argument is getting us nowhere. Well... Oh, come on, server. Initiate, you've come at the right time. We've been talking to Dr. Blackburn and going over Scribe Valdez's report on what you found in Vault 96. This smug monster is practically bragging about torture and unleashing horrors on the world. And Romani is treating him with kid gloves. I am not bragging. What I have done was necessary. I take no pride in those terrible acts. I will have to live with the shame of them forever. That weight does not, however, diminish that the ends were worth the means. You will learn that soon enough. My colleagues will see that our creation, a vast improvement on the FEV, is distributed shortly. Distributed? How? There's no Project Purity. Do How are they? see the arrogance the self-justification. We should end him and be done with it. <sighs> okay, just because he's a jerk doesn't mean he should die. He should die for everything he did. Everything he did definitely deserves death. But he's also the only one who knows exactly what it is that he made because he made it. And he's the only one who knows who he gave it to and how we can track it down. Like, he's kind of valuable at the moment there, Shin. We gotta figure out where this virus is so that we can get it and save, the, save it from being distributed before we kill this guy. Maybe we can put him on trial and execute him after this is all said and done. But for the moment, we kind of need him around because he knows all of the answers. And there we go. This is the kind of answer that I want. There is something to be said for due process, Shin. And what jury wouldn't find this man guilty? You saw what he did with your own eyes. Preventing Dr. Blackburn's associates from taking this horror any further must be our priority. Yes. And we may need the doctor to convince them. Yes. Star Wars says, hey, Oxhorn, I don't think you saw it in the last stream, but we know who Ares is. He is... Calvin Van Lowe. He somehow survived. I mean, people had that theory, but I don't think we found any official evidence for that. I mean, the only thing connecting Ares to Calvin Van Lowe is the imposter sh sheep squatch. That's it. I, that's not good enough evidence for me. I mean, we heard what happened to Calvin Van Lowe in the holotape inside his taxidermy lab when he was... Assaulted, I guess, by the uh, the imposter sheep squatch there. And the only injury that uh, Ares has is the broken face, the broken jaw. But Calvin Van Lowe was assaulted in a very different area by that assaultron. So, yeah, I don't know. Where are these associates? My colleagues have a laboratory hidden beneath the headquarters of my former employer, West Tech. We intend to correct the FEV's mistakes at their birthplace. Poetically appropriate, would you not agree? Well, yeah. Thanks for telling me. 
What will they do with the virus? My colleagues have a facility better suited to final testing and mass production of the virus. As we speak, they are preparing for its release into the air and water of Appalachia. Once dispersed, it will enter the precipitation cycle in groundwater, and then it cannot be stopped. All right, are they going to use the Hornwrite no. auto purifiers? No, it could spread for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. But what does it do? Like, all he's done so far is tell us that he's perfected FEV. He says he's got all of these noble goals, but he's not telling us exactly what does it do. Say it does infect the groundwater. Does it prevent mutation? We'll does it cure mutation? Does it cure months. ghoulification? Does it make you immune to radiation? We don't know. It's just a virus that used to be FEV, and now it's something else, some perfected FEV. And based on that, I don't want it going anywhere near a water source. But we still don't know what he's done to it. Why would you help us stop them? That is your goal, not mine. But I am not a soldier, and would not withstand strenuous interrogation well. No minor delay on my part will change what is to come. My colleagues are already preparing. Perhaps my cooperation will allow us to make a case for the good we are about to do and convince you of our cause. You can convince Impossible. me of our cause. We could never support something so abominable. I mean, at least help me understand your cause. Just what does FEV do exactly? Well, sounds like West Tech is where we need to go. Yes. If the doctor's associates are preparing to distribute the virus, we have to put our emotions aside here and get to them before they can. Blackburn's punishment whatever its form, can wait until Appalachia is safe. I completely agree. Find and secure the entrance to this lab, and we'll follow behind. I don't like this, Romani. We should be done with him here and now and level this laboratory. This is just like what Elder Maxim faced at Mariposa. Or have you forgotten? Elder Maxim came to regret acting rashly there. Or have you forgotten? If they've already begun producing the virus, blowing up the place could just help spread it. We'll need to be a bit more delicate than that. That Very is well. so good. If Blackburn is coming with us, I will be watching him. Perhaps he can provide leverage against his fellow lunatics. If I can prevent further loss of life, I will. Then it's decided. Initiate, head for West Tech. We've no time to lose. See you there. That was so well done, and it makes the Brotherhood such a more interesting, multi-layered, compelling faction. Because Shin is right. When Maxon found out what the scientists were doing at Mariposa, he, his eyes went red and he just slaughtered them. But then, in the very same article in Fallout Fun, uh, f Fallout Fun, in Fallout 1, in the very same log, holotape at Mariposa, where we learned what Maxon did, in that very same log entry, he regrets what he did. He expresses regret. He says, maybe I acted too harshly. Maybe I shouldn't have killed the scientists. They were just following, order, following orders. I mean, she is right. Romani is right. He did eventually end up regretting executing those scientists. So, they're both right. Which makes it difficult. Which makes it good. Okay, uh, enter the West Tech Research Center. Let's see if they have anything more to say. Get started at West Tech. We'll catch up with you. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. Do you need something? We have to stop these people before they spread their virus even farther. Get to West Tech, Initiate. Let's put an end to this. Well, the nice thing is that my camp is right next to West Tech. Let's just hope I'm not uh, being assaulted by super mutants when I get there. You know, I don't really have time. Uh, Scott Bates says, Ox, I'd save the last mission for another stream. I think it'll take longer than 20 minutes and you'll enjoy the ending. I think you're probably right. I need to dedicate a new stream to the ending of this particular DLC for Fallout 76 and the exploration of West Tech. Jared on Facebook says, you should side with uh, Night Shins 
Uh, Hutton Romani is too soft on her convictions, and she will only bring up and make it harder for the Brotherhood in the main to maintain their order in the region of Appalachia. I mean, that's certainly what Night Shin would want us to believe. And that's certainly how some people will interpret these events. Right, I'm out of time. Thank you, everybody. Of course I'm being attacked, of course. Well, I'm going to mute it for now. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for today's broadcast of Fallout 76 Steel Rain Part 2. I think uh, it'll probably, we'll probably wrap things up in my next live stream of Steel Rain if I am as close to the end of this plot as it appears that I am. Uh, and if that's the case, then we'll finish everything on Monday instead of doing Mass Effect, even though I'm... I'm going to miss Mass Effect. We'll uh, finish up Steel Rain for Monday, uh, if we can, within one live stream. And then get back to our regular schedule of streaming uh, streaming content next week after we finish Steel Rain. For the weekend, I'm hoping that I will have a new Fallout 3 Metro lore video for you. I still have a lot of work to do on it, so maybe I won't, but I'm going to do my very best. I hope to have that for you tomorrow. If not by tomorrow, surely by Sunday. We'll see. Yannick Rule says, do you think that I'll like 76 if I like New Vegas? It's really hard to predict. It's a very different game from New Vegas. It just is. In terms of gameplay mechanics, it's a lot uh, it's much more similar to Fallout 4. The dialogue system in Fallout 76 Wastelanders is reminiscent of the dialogue system in New Vegas. Uh, so that may be more uh, comfortable for you, but it's hard it's hard to say. I like the two. There are parts about 76 that bother me, that frustrate me, but overall I enjoy the story and uh, the gameplay. Uh, Star Wars says rest of the content will take about 30 to 50 minutes. Great. Well, then that'll give me a chance afterwards to work on my legendary armor crafting. I hope to make a full su a suit of legendary power armor. That'll be exciting. We'll save that for another broadcast. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.